going out and it's too cold, we'll create, um, you know, a maze with painter's tape, or if it's at night, do it with twinkle lights. So you can tape this to the floor and they can follow it like a maze. Um, the other thing that I love using twinkle lights for, oh, and you, it could even just be like your night light in your baby's room, um, because without going in, you can just turn it off with the remote. But I also love using it in a salad spinner. <laughs> so you have to make sure your salad spinner is clear. So you can put in the lights. I don't know if people will be able to see it kind of just looks like. Hey, this is Randall Constant, and I'm Amazon Live at. salad spinners and being able to spin lights 855. So fun for them. We've also used I'm, I'm usually the fairy lights. Amazon Live at 555, but not, not today. There. In so fact, I think I'm going to be all over the board from here on out. That's what it looks like. And this is 555 might be the, may be the most common so time I start, but I'm going to be all over the board from here on out. Let's see if I can find myself on here. Let's see if I went. I don't know. Let's see if I went live. I don't know. I guess I went live. I'm looking at myself pick up a hedge trimmer, so I guess that's not live. Uh-oh. I think I see live. I think I see live. Awesome mom is here. That's gotta be that's gotta be live. I think that's live. I think that's live. That's gotta be live. Let me see. Let me see. Let me hold on. Let me go ahead. Go on. I'm just gonna say Hello. If this was like a closed My name is Randall. Using bread a bread crumb container. Let's see if it works. This could fit into a bread crumb. Hello, my name is Randall. All right, it's working. I got it. Lid, it it's happening. Really I'm just going to – I spent a lot of time over the last month not being in, in my carousel. I'm going to try to stay in my carousel shape, today, but I'm still going to um, talk about food. Bread crumb container, but it, I just can't help you myself. I got to I gotta talk about food um, all I can. I got it. Here before you did. Yes, you did. You got here before I did. Yep. Some of y'all are pretty fast. I got to tell you. Yeah, I just tried. Just... See, I couldn't even type in one little sentence saying, hello, my name is Randall. You got in before. And I'm sure there's going to be a, I'm sure there's going to be a few other people popping in. By the way, if you're looking, <laughs> see, I'm not talking about king cakes anymore because the king cake season's over. Now we're talking about crawfish season. Crawfish and shrimp. Oh, man, that reminds me. I'm going to talk about this later. If I can remember, I'll, I'll have a seafood report. Yeah, I'll have a report on check to see if I'm missing what's going to happen with seafood this year. Yeah, I think I know. I kind of spent a lot of time in the seafood industry. I spent 45 years in the food industry, but I spent 35 years in the seafood industry. Yeah, I did. I did. All right, you see, if you look on my carousel, you'll see I got a lawnmower right out the get-go. You know why? Because... Pom-poms. Because and grass cutting season yeah. is right around the corner. In so, fact, I was cutting grass um, yesterday. Um, Wait, or was it the day before? I don't, I don't even. Like oh, I don't even know anymore. It's so confusing. It was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, man. I, that was a challenge. It was a challenge, but I got it done. But I, I got it done with a craftsman lawnmower. I've been having craftsmen lawnmowers for the last, so, I don't know, something like 15 years, maybe. Something like that. Um, and that's what I've been using. So I figured I'd put what I got, that, right? right? That's what I got. It's I still starting. Sure people can see it. In fact, I'll make a, I'll I'm make a point of it. starting it every, in the bath, every two or three weeks during the off season. Um, and you know when it gets started, the smoke comes out, so and then it gets going. Yeah, it gets going. Like but anyway, I put I put alcohol-free gas in it. Of course, shoes, it's you know it's usually 30, 40, 50 cents more a gallon, a water, but it's worth it because so like you said, in the don't bath, have problems with your lawnmower starting the, water. the following year. Um, Let's see. That's what I did. That's what I do. Um, that's my that's my deal. I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna put you know I'm not gonna go ahead and put. If the alcohol, DIY, gas, and my lawnmower. So if it's cute, gonna cause so it not to start hat, next year, socks, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to spend my time fixing lawnmowers. That's for sure. All right, so I got the Craftsman at 378. Hey, will I buy an electric lawnmower this year? That is the question. It's a it's a possibility. It could possibly happen. They look like I don't know if it will. But you don't know until you know. So I'll have to wait and see what the deal is. Hey, look, I'm not wasting no time. Last year it took me a while before I found out that the 
highlight the works wg163 sold by crazy it was a top it was a top five item for me last year and top five two two kayaks well don't worry i'm gonna bring the kayaks out because there's a lot of people that like to jump in the kayak i don't know i don't know what i never saw that coming and then what about the generators two of the top five items i sold last year were generators generators kayaks and weed eaters that's what so I can't people used to ask what you do for a living well i sell meatballs <laughs> skillet meals and catfish oh my god whoever met and now is so funny it's weed eaters These generators unattended we're right here and pit bits <laughs> or something like that yeah that's kind of how it is um, anyway the wg the works wg 163 it's such I a it did so well that i invited it into my studio tell you it's in my so studio here really we go like yeah it's in my studio wg 163 yeah you got the you got the wire that comes out here you just go ahead and press the button and you can adjust tonight. how how Let's long review. the line is if you're just okay in, you could also um, so i don't hit the ceiling you could also press this button and it feeds it okay so you got the line feed then here if you're if you're four foot eleven, really, you can again, shorten it up a little bit. Six foot eight. Presenting toys. Stretch it out a little bit. Children yeah. On and and you're in business. You get the battery. You get um, the battery charged sure up. I don't I notice. I don't have no extension cord like, on it anymore. Um, and then you just uh, the right click the button. It's so exciting. Yeah. yeah. Just click. Um, and then you're gone. Um, you're gone. This thing. The, like I said, I, I have a lot of respect for it because it did so well last year. Of course, the poor And I didn't even see it coming. Oh, the fairy land. So anyway, I just talked about for that's like that. That's where I'm at there. The stream. Hey, screaming um, for ice cream. Okay, I've been waiting for you to. <laughs> been waiting for you to come in. Send me another. Send me another uh, email. Send me another. You know where to send it. You know where to send it. You know where to send it. Send me another one. Send me another one. I'm about ready to. I'm about ready to send it out. And I'm just. If you're gonna get anything. Checking and rechecking and checking and rechecking. I want to mix. Positively, absolutely, definitely. Make sure it goes to the right person, not to somebody trying to take it. Bacon nope. muffin pan. Uh, I'm, Use the apothecary jar for yourself. I, I, I'm gonna be a so upset um, if it goes to the wrong place. Let's put it this way. But you show up, you show up, you showed up, and I knew you would. But awesome mom beat you to it. She got here first. Awesome mom got here first. I sent you, all right, good. Good, good, good. Don't be a bit surprised if I um if i ask you another question oh, I, know what I have a two-year-old you got it that's correct these are things we've used all right um for, all right let's see like since hold many on, of them hold on birth, just a second there that aren't safe um, i'm checking and rechecking you say i can definitely you know, definitely careful results. i'm definitely so careful also materials and toys that all right a long time let's see if i, I can get my Okay. Well, you can. Let's see if I could get my. Uh, of course, here. Look at my storefront. My app back. Hey, there's Jeffy. Jeffy's here. And. All right. Let's see him. Um, oh, by the way, Calvin's sleeping. I got Calvin sleeping. So as soon as I got him to go to sleep, I figured I could get up here and at least get going without without you know getting getting interrupted for at least at least a little while. Anyway, don't worry. He's gonna be calling me. He's gonna say that switch his channel. He's gonna want to watch something you else, or he's gonna want in. something to drink, or something like that. So I'm, I'm kind of listening for him, for him to call. So that might happen. All right, and I got this black and decker. Let's see, I got this black and decker. Where is my black and decker? Let me see. Got my black and decker. I was using it this week. I cut a whole bunch of stuff with this. Yeah, the good thing about it is, if you order this. You put three screws on one side, three screws on the other, you charge your battery, you click it in, and you're ready to roll. You can jump out your car, you can go visit somebody, and if you have this with you, if they need their hedges trimmed, you can go help them. <laughs> go help, you can go trim their hedges. Just charge it up before you leave, and you can do that. Or if you, or if you go to a, if you go to a, if there's a sign, and let's say it's a stop sign, and they got grass in front of it. Or something in front of you, you can trim it to where you can see the stop sign. You know, stuff like that. You never know when you can use this. But anyway, go ahead and put the battery in. Make sure it's charged. And you have to have a lot of respect for this piece of merchandise right here yeah. because when it cuts things off, it usually don't go back on. So, yeah, so you have to be careful. You have to have a lot of respect. Here we go. 
It's ready. It's ready. It was one. It was something I bought for a hundred and twenty-six dollars last year. I ended up picking it up at the end of the summer because at the beginning of the summer it was one hundred and forty-nine. And I have, if I'm a, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I don't know, but I bet you during the summertime it could possibly be one fifty-nine. Now on Amazon Prime Day it dropped all the way down to one eleven. Now who knows that? Well, I do because I was paying attention to that item. And a lot of people, hey, Angelo, how's it going? There's a lot of people that I know that have hedges that grow <laughs> and they need to be trimmed. That's part of having a house. If you have a house, you got a lot of stuff to do to take care of your house. Now, if you're renting an apartment, then of course you don't have to worry about it. You know, you don't have to worry about it, but you got to pay that rent every month. Hi, unfortunately um, anyway the black and decker's at 122 i paid 126 the lowest price i saw all year long which was my former since last may um and was 98 dollars that was right right around early black friday at home black friday early childhood and cyber monday it was around 98 dollars it was 98 it was 99 it was 100 101 102 103 so it was all over the board young children and so it was all over the board at that price but i gotta tell you as soon as we get things that look nice as soon as we get to the summer it's not gonna be 122 i can tell you that it's gonna be up there all right i got this i get this snow and snowblower I put it up front because I'm not gonna need it and I'm not gonna buy I'm not gonna buy it to show it to you because I'll never use it I only got so much room in my house to buy all these different things I only got a certain amount of room as you can tell I got I got this store in my house yeah I got a store people come shopping in my store yeah my first my Products wife, that you know, I want to she comes shopping in my store. When she runs sure out of something, she comes check to see if I have Aquaphor products. And then I can't so talk about it the next day because it's gone. Knows that I don't need the house yeah, that's that. the way it goes. That's the way it goes. So anyway, um, so the Greenworks is one fifty nine. I saw it at I saw it at a hundred bucks. It was the deal of the day. Included in, I wish it would have stayed a hundred bucks, but that was only. We, I, I guess that was a one-day deal because it's right gone. On. Are we highlighting the diaper baby one first? I think that's what's first, right? Uh, I. Yeah. I got a bunch so, of. I got a bunch I, of stuff I have to, to get little by little mom, integrate into my carousel. Things, I got new things. Is the You know, I got new things. Baby healing um, you got to realize when you're 61 years old you done bought a lot of stuff in your lifetime wait, wait, wait i want to make sure i'm, I'm referring so to little it, by right? little you got to go find yeah, that stuff because it's somewhere in my so house yeah somewhere in my this, house i make sure to have yep. this somewhere in tub, my house um, you know like the on my kids you know like table. like the the yeti so much not just the diaper you know this is like 35 dollars but it's it's in my house it could go in my carousel rash, hey i got these little i'll get to it later but i got these little casa plugs it's before, in my house you can buy it on my, amazon i got this other casa plug right too. here Awful Where is it? Oh, it's not the most. Yeah, it's kind of a dull um, box, but yeah, you know the little plugs. I, I got that. Now I can put that, that in my so carousel. I got this little port to use daily. This little hub like port that. to add to your computer and when you start adding too much to your computer. You need some extra USB rash. ports. Well, I, I got it. I got it. Or three in one diaper rash cream. <sighs> And one of my I could have got things about like this maybe three, but I went so for seven. I wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna ever choppy. need to look for a USB and port again. I want to make sure I got bad, enough because really I don't know. There's just so many things you add to your computer like that you need. Under your nails. You need a USB. And so I love that. The so anyway, that's what it is. So you can find that on well, Amazon. It's, it's in my carousel. In fact, it might be in my carousel. It goes on a lot. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I love that it's in a tube, and. It doesn't come out chalky. Like honestly, I could use it as lotion as well. So you get feedback baby, through. Um, hair set is. A You're talking about for, from from the audio. Trust me. The, you get you feedback on the audio. This. I have a two and four year old, and I still yeah, would love I, to get that. Yeah, don't um, worry. I work so hard for my connection, and I don't have my connection. That I love is. Oh, that's on deal is the the healing ointment that I was referring to before. I put it on my lips on my eyes and the advanced therapy ointment body spray. Oh, let's see. I introduced this to my friends yesterday 
and it really is. Ah, was it loud? You know, that was, uh, I'll show you what it was. I'll show you what it was. You're, you got it. You got it. You heard it. You heard it. I'll show you what it was. Let's see. Hold on. Let me. This is what you heard. You see? You see? You see? I wouldn't have known. Let's see. It's right here. I I had Amazon on, okay? And they have a live streamer called. Let me see. What's it? She does a lot of stuff for kids. Uh, Mo Mommies. Yeah, she was talking. That's it. That's it. Mo Mommies was talking in the background. That's what it is. It was on. That I don't I don't hear it. I don't hear it. That's why I don't know. Okay, let me let Mo Mommies talk again. Is Aquaphor in a bottle? Aquaphor has like, okay, Mo like this back. All right, Mo Mommies is not talking. I I couldn't hear it. I didn't know she was talking. So when I looked back at it, when I when I came back to the screen, I saw that it wasn't on pause. Or it wasn't stopped. So, yeah, good job. Good job. You let me. <laughs> you reduced the chance of me in, of embarrassing myself. Because <laughs> I don't want somebody talking during my whole, during my whole uh, deal, you know. I don't want that to happen. All right. Okay. All right. All right, Stacy. Yeah. <clears throat> you ended up you ended you ended up in the junk file again. Yep, you ended up in the junk file. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on a second, hold on. Okay. All right. I'll explain to you. Let's see. Hold on. No. St wait. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. No, Stacy. The only thing that happened. The only thing that happened is when I was on the when I was on. I don't even know where I was, but somebody was giving away a hundred dollar gift card, and I saw that you were on at the same time. So I said. I just said that you won my $100 gift card, and the question was, can she win again? That's all it was. That's all it was. It was just like, can she win another $100 gift card? That's what it was. It was just a, it's just like, you know, when Jennifer Lude won three times, I, I'll say, can she win a fourth time? Is that possible? You know, that's just a question. That's just conversation. That's all it was. No, no, you weren't, you weren't, um, that's all it was. Got it? Got it. That's all it was. Nothing, nothing. And, you know, and it was just so funny because it was so funny because we just did the drawing. The, the amount of the gift card was exactly the same amount. And you happen to be on at the same time because I know I'm, I mean, there's I guess there's 100 people that are all over the place and you never know who you're going to run into. Every time, every time I don't you know, what I'm, the funny thing is I can't get over like when I wake up early in the morning, I turn on Amazon and I look. And I look at who's on Amazon, and I'm thinking to myself, do these people ever sleep? That's what I'm thinking, because you never know who you're going to run into. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Because there's just, I can't get on a stream anymore and see, and I cannot get on a stream, any any stream, and see, and not know somebody that's on that stream. I, I don't, you know, uh, there's always somebody, somebody that I know. So the other the other thing I was going to say, and that's a good thing that you know you brought that up. I go on I go on streams all the time, and if I if there's something I can do to to create conversation, that's what I do. I try to help if a live streamer needs conversation because let let me tell you something. When you got crickets, it ain't fun. And you're dying and you're dying to talk to somebody. So the deal is, yeah, I go, I go all the time. And if I could add something to the conversation on any of the, you know, any of the deals, that's what I do. That's, that's, uh, uh it's just whatever I can do. But at, at the other time, I don't want to, I'm trying not to disrupt, disrupt anything. 
of course, you know, I get it. I, I start talking about food and then the conversation goes into the food category. And then people start talking about that. And then maybe they, maybe the live streamer wants to come back to the, to the carousel again, you know, but I mean, it's just something to, um, change the course. Um, that's what, you know, that's what the, uh, that's what that's all about. Yeah. That's what I, let's see. Uh, hello. Would you give me your, you know, Da, da, da. Jenny, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to be on an. Uh, um, I don't want to be on a list. Let's put it that way. Let's see. Be careful how you use it. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. I got. I'll go ahead and give you my address. I'll go ahead and give you my address if I can. Wait, wait, I'm on the wrong thing. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. All right, there you go. There's the address. Yeah, Matthew, uh, I won't get too far. I won't get too far before I start talking about food, that's for sure. Uh, we're all talking about the big conversation over here is uh, is the stop, seafood for land. A lot of people come down to Louisiana and Mississippi to eat seafood, but seafood's not as easy to get as usual. Of, of course, crawfish and shrimp are... Hold on a second. I got some valuable information. I've got some valuable information. Okay, well that's that's um, Jenny. That's the uh, that's the address. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna knock it down. I'm gonna take it down there. Okay, let's see what we got. Right, you help others out. Yeah, I. Uh, you gotta look at. It. I'm 61 years old. I've been in business for a long time. Uh, I started my business. Let me think. 35 years ago. So I, my business is 35 years old. That's a long time to be in business. I didn't go out of business, didn't, de didn't declare bankruptcy or anything like that. I've been in business for 35 years. I've been married for 37 years. Those two things are pretty tough to do. <laughs> to be married for 37 years and, and to be in the business for 35 years. So I've, I've dealt with, and, I, and I've been in sales been in the food industry for 45 years and I've been basically in sales for 45 years. So the deal is I know what I can do to help other people to make it easier for them because it's not easy jumping on here and having tons of people telling you all kinds of stuff. Some some stuff's good, some stuff's not so good, you know? That's all that. Okay, that's good, Jenny. That's good. Uh, wait, I'm gonna, Matthew asked about the food and you know, I'm getting in, you know, I'm getting into the food thing. I don't have to be, I don't have to be asked twice to get into the food situation. Um, yeah, Stryker, Stryker's been, Stryker, uh, Stryker's one of my old, uh, Stryker's, Stryker's been, uh, on my live, my live stream thing way back in the day. Stryker goes way back at least five or six months. I'm sure. All right, let me see if I could. Let me see if I could find that. Let me let me see that information that I had. Uh, I found some on TV that was really informative, so I went ahead and took a picture of it. And let's see if I can. I can find out where I have it. Maybe I have it right here. Maybe it's here. Thought it was there. Hey, does anybody use Bixby? I never, I never, I got Samsung phones all over, but I never, I never did the Bixby thing. I guess maybe I will get into it a little later. Let's see. I, all right, here it is. Here it is. Here we go. Here we go. All right. When, oh, I could get, I could go back. I can get off of this deal here. So anyway, Mo Mommy's talks about a bunch of stuff about kids, about kids and taking care of kids. 
that's not my expertise. <laughs> so that was something a lot. That was something a lot different. So anyway, I just like all the time I said hello, and I put my two cents in. Okay. Every year, soon as Mardi Gras is over, Lent starts. Now, certain parts of the country probably don't know much about Lent, but when you live in a certain area of the country, Lent is a huge deal, huge deal. And that's all we worried about, what we're going to be eating. All right. Now, there's a restaurant There's a restaurant in, in Metairie that's always on the news. I've been knowing the guy for a long time. And he knows what he's talking about. He's always in the news. So I'm going to let you know what he said. This is basically, I guess, I don't know if he's talking about last year because I didn't hear it. I just saw it. I don't know if he's talking about last year or the year before, before COVID started. I'm not sure, okay? It doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. But anyway, lobster was 8 to $10 a pound. Now it's 18 to $19 a pound. Eight to eight to ten now. Eighteen to nineteen. Crab. Now it says crab, but it doesn't say specifically which crab. But it says nineteen to twenty dollars a pound. Now it's thirty-five to forty-five dollars a pound. So that's the deal. A lot of people come down here to eat crabs, and crabs are sky high. You can't. I mean, they're sky. They're sky high. Thirty-five to forty-five dollars. That's the highest I ever saw it. I never saw it that high. Oysters. We're big in oysters down here. Whether it's Louisiana, Mississippi, or Alabama, oysters from the Gulf. They were fifty to sixty dollars last year. Now they're eighty dollars. So they're up thirty-three percent. But the good news about the whole thing that I was that I was that I that I liked seeing is shrimp is is supposedly expected to be priced pretty reasonable. Like you know, like where it was. So they don't, they don't have an, an, a big increase in price. And the other thing is crawfish is going to have a good year. It's going to have a good year. So crawfish prices are going to be affordable. So crawfish and shrimp, that's, that's a big chunk of what we eat. The only thing we're missing out on is the crabs. And the deal is the crab, the crab that I'm talking about is the snow crab. The snow crab comes from the Northwest. And, and you know you eat that all over the country. That's not a that's not necessarily a crab that's that that's swimming around in your backyard. Okay, most people don't have no king crabs or snow crabs swimming around. Now they got blue crabs. That's a different story. But the big crabs, yeah, that's something that that you know you don't have to be in Alaska to have king crab. You don't have to be in Alaska to have snow crab. That it's just sent all over. Anyway, that's the that's kind of some some pretty good seafood information for down the road because you need you need seafood to put in your pot because if you get a if you get a if you get a bar you know if you get a boiling pot or a steamer or whatever on amazon you need to have something you need to be able to buy something to put in the pot all right well that's what that's what that's all about all right let's see let's see oh uh, Ah, oh, okay. All right. All right. Stacy's eating, so I can't, I can't, I can't change. She's eating already, so I, I can't do anything. I can't make her do anything different. I use Samsung, but don't use Bixby. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't either. But I use Siri. So if I use Siri on the Apple, I ought to use Bixby on the Samsung. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's see, Mitch. Hey, how's it going, Mitch? Uh, Striker, I got Samsung, but never use Bixby. So, I disabled it. Well, I guess Stryker's not going to be using Bixby. I don't know. I might try to. I might try. It. Let's see. Uh, Alan says Calvin having a good day today. Yeah, he he done eight and he's already sleeping. And you know he's going to end up waking up a little later. Let's see. What time is it? It's nine. Yeah, he'll probably wake up around ten. You do you know anybody that wakes up at ten, at ten or eleven or twelve to to get a late night snack? Yeah, that's what he. He gets a late night snack, but he'll probably be up to three o'clock with me, probably. Okay. All right. That's a little bit of that's a little bit of food information. So if you're looking for shrimp and you know, shrimp and crawfish, just so you know, the majority of crawfish that you get a hold of is from a lot of it's from China. 
comes from China, and and the uh, and the of course the crawfish that we catch in our you know in our backyard in our in in the swamp or in the ponds or whatever we eat, we eat the majority of it before it even leaves. Yeah, that's what we do. But we like the local stuff. We like the stuff that's homegrown. We use the we use the product from China, but we would rather use our own. For sure, without a doubt, no question, no question. All right, let's see. All right, I got anyway. I got this. Um, I got this USB port just because I ran out of ports, and this is at this is at thirty nine ninety nine. But it definitely adds a lot of. You could add a lot of things to your computer. It's pretty well made too. It's not. It's it's pretty well made. I like I like I like the way I like the way it ended up. It solved my problem because I added a couple things to my computer, and all of a sudden I'm not short of uh, USB ports. So it it worked out really good, and it's on it's uh it's available on Amazon. And I of course I showed the Yeti, the Yeti. I got you know Calvin Calvin special. He got one got one in from Hershey. Yeah, Hershey sent him a, a Reese's one. How about that? Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. Yeah, so this is Cal. I took. Okay, I took it from Calvin. Calvin got the Reese's. He took mine. I took his. He took mine. Okay, because I get the. Because I want to. You know, I want to show it. You know, I want to show it as much as, much as I can. But I got one, and and Calvin's got that one. This is what Calvin uses. This is Calvin approved. Yeah, I, I put his. I put his drink early in the morning with a bunch of ice and whatever. He drinks out of this until it's gone. Then he starts starts over and over and over again. But it, but as far as I'm concerned, it's really it's really really good because if you put the ice in the morning, it it pretty much it pretty much lasts a whole day. Now I got the Cardio Mobile. The deal about doing your own EKG, you don't have to go to the hospital to do the EKG or the doctor's office. You can do it yourself. This is the one that's not available. I bought this one at the beginning of the year. It's sold out, but you can get the one that's $79. Yeah, they have one that's $79 and it's available. And I, I put it in the carousel so you, so you can see that. And then the Elgato Stream Deck. This is what this is what I'm in the process of working with so that I could up up things on on Amazon Live, <clears throat> there's a whole bunch of buttons. If you look at that, if you get a chance, click it and and play the video. In fact, in fact, I'll play the video. That's the big one. Yeah, that's the one. I talked, I talked to a tech today. I I talked to a tech that knows this stuff. He's a gamer, and he works with a cable company, so he knows he knows the stuff. I was talking to him today, and he said, it's a it's unlimited. You could put all kinds of stuff on that. It, you might have 32 buttons, but you got pages. So you could just turn the page and you can have a, and, and, the, and the, anyway, it's just amazing. It's amazing. Uh, it, it's a, a great piece of equipment, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and play it and show it. And this is what I'm going to work on. It's going to take a long time. Remember, I'm not a, I'm not a millennial. I'm a baby boomer. It's going to take me a lot longer to figure this all out. I'm already, already, I'm already using it because I can press a button and, and my live starts and I can press another button and my live goes dead. And I got other buttons that show, you know, that show different things. Now, give you an idea of, of what the stream deck does. I have 32 buttons, so I could take, I could take, uh, I could take, let's say, the top 100 snacks, the top 100 cookies, the top 100 candies, the top 100 fiber bars, the top 100 um, beverages, and I could program them all in the buttons. So all I would have to do is press the B for beverages and press the, the C for cookies, and, it, and it's going to open the page. I don't have to do www dot whatever, or, you know, I don't have to go use my mouse or anything like that. All I got to do is press the button in it. Boom, just like that, it comes up. So that's the thing that's um, pretty interesting about this. So you'll see as time gets by, my live streams could only get better. You know, I'm, after this is a live stream number 561. I've, this is number 561. 
I've been Amazon Live for 301 days in a row. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot, lot. Okay, let me see. Let me find. I'm going to go ahead and find this particular Elgato. It's called Elgato. Let me go ahead and look it up. Elgato. Elgato. The Stream Deck. The Stream Deck. Here we go. Elgato Stream Deck. And I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and play this video because it's cool. It's cool. I, I think they got the Let's see. Did I put XL in there? Oh, I got to put XL. Let me put XL. Yeah. XL. There we go. XL32. That's it. There we go. Should find it here. Hopefully. There it is. Let me let me show you. It's pretty awesome. So how I can control many applications just with my fingertips for today. Yeah, I was trying to get it to stop. I was trying to get it to stop. It didn't want to stop. I was trying to get it to stop. All right. Anyway, that thing is cool. It's just gonna it, it's just gonna make my uh, live streams better over time. Or at least I at least I hope they do. I I hope they do. Let's put it that way. Yeah, Ty, Tyler. Yeah, the 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 stream the live streamers that do an extremely good job. Even though I might not know that they have this, it ain't happening that easy by that by themselves. They got they got something to help them, and that's got to, that's got to be what a lot of people have. Uh, if you watch, uh, let's say the Deal guy. I think the Deal guy's got it. I guess. Um, Emac. Emac, right? I think Emacs got one of these. I think I don't know, but if he don't have it, he got something that's pretty good because his streams are pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. So the Elgato. So that's what you got to You got it. Uh oh, I that, I didn't expect this. Look, anybody looking for the Instapot? I've been talking about the Instapot for forever and ever. This price is right. If you want an Instapot, the price is right. One hundred eighteen dollars and ninety nine cents. It it air fries it. It uh, it does. Oh man, that is so awesome for it to be one nineteen ninety nine. I'm so happy about that. Anybody that anybody here heard me talking about it for the last month or so? If they have any interest in it, that's the price. I wouldn't waste any time. It might not be that tomorrow. One eighteen is a is a real good price because yesterday it was one ninety nine. It was one ninety nine yesterday. One eighteen is the is the price. I. Every time I've ever seen it, it's been one nineteen ninety nine. This is the first time I see it at one eighteen. Yeah. So the thing is, why? If you can get that for one eighteen, if you can get that, I now remember the thing about this is that this is not the small one. This is the big one. A lot of times people they talk they talk about the the Instapot, but a lot of times it's just the pressure cooker and the and the slow cooker and the sauteer and the, whatever. It's not the it's not the frying. It, you know, it doesn't air fry. You know, it's it's got less features and it's smaller. 
this is the this is the big daddy. This is the this is the one that's got got everything that does everything. So if if you have any any desire to get this Instapot at the right price, today is the day because I don't believe I don't don't believe that we'll ever see that at ninety nine dollars. I don't think it's ever going to go to ninety nine. This is the lowest price in this. Anyway, this is something that's so good that if you know somebody that you think wants one, you should tell them about it. Because at least you've been hearing me talk about it like forever. And what did I do? And then you know what I did. I bought every frozen food item you could possibly, every frozen food item over the last, what, six weeks? I bought them all. I bought all the fish stick varieties. I bought all the chicken varieties, the nuggets, the strips, the tenders. I bought. I bought the burritos and the chimichangas and 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 the corn dogs and everything. I bought everything, all the best stuff that's in frozen. I spent I spent over 35 years in the frozen food department. I know all the good stuff. I know all the good stuff and I tested all of it and I told you whether I liked it or didn't like it. I told you about those Tyson air fried air fried chicken deals. I didn't care for that too much. But I sure did like Tyson makes a lot of stuff I love. But that particular item I didn't like. I'm not going to tell you I like everything because I didn't. I didn't like it. So I told you. So here you go. Let me just, I'm going to tell you what I ate today. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think I got the bag. I, I might not have the bag, but I bought those. I got those uh, breakfast. Oh, I do have it. I do. I think I do. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do. This is what I ate. I ate a few of these. I didn't eat just one. I ate a few. The, the breakfast, the bra the meat lovers breakfast burrito. Man, that thing is awesome. Yeah, it's got the bacon and it's got the sausage. You don't have to make up your mind whether you want the bacon or the sausage. It's both of them. And it's really, really good. This is, I worked with these guys back in 1989, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 7, something like that. A bunch of years. Yeah. It all started out, it started out with beef and bean burrito and bean and cheese burrito and the green chili burrito and the red chili. That's where it started, those four items. And they did the, they did, I don't know if you remember, if you're, if you've been shopping for a long time, they had Monterey Supreme and Steak Fajita under the Ruiz brand. That was a big item back in 90. Back in the late 80s, in fact. Yeah, in the late 80s, 80s, 90s. It did 80 and early 90s. It was called Steak Fajita. That's before that became a big deal because way back in the, in the day, a lot of the burritos were kind of, shall I say, inexpensive. And what about pot pies? Remember pot pies way back in the day? I don't know how old you are. Remember Martin pot pies? Martin, M-O-R-T-O-N. If you're old, Chuck, Chuck, I, I think you're, well, I can't, it's hard for me to know how old everybody is, but the Dallas Cowboys used to have a quarterback called Craig Martin. M-O-R-T-O-N, but that was also an inexpensive burrito. But these guys came out with a, a great line, and man, the, the company's so big that they built two more plants. So they got like three plants. I think they got one in Texas, one in Danuba, California, and one on the East Coast. I don't know if it's in North Carolina, South, South Carolina, but I think got three plants. But yeah, so if you're wondering if this is any good, I'm telling you, this is good. So you put it in the microwave. It says... It said put it in the microwave for a minute and a half. I put it in. I put it in for two and a half minutes. And the deal is, if you want, you can put it in the air fryer for a little while and get a you know a crispy outside. You know how some of the stuff gets a little soggy in the microwave. Yeah, but this is good. You like bacon? You like <laughs> you like bacon and you like sausage? Uh, you'll love this. That's what I did this morning. Yeah. The other thing I got to eat. The other thing I ate uh, this afternoon. I, I ate some Nathan's. Some Nathan's uh, onion rings. I I said I said before that this is this is the best this is the best uh, onion ring that I ever ate. This is some good onion rings. Oh yeah, 
Definitely. So anyway, Nathan's goes in the, and it goes in the air fryer. That's I did all that just for the air fryer. I gotta find those. I like onion rings. Those are good. Those are good. You got you got two of them you can find. Alexia. Alexia. Wait. Alexia. Alexia, yeah. And it's owned by ConAgra, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's I think it's ConAgra owns the company. But anyway, it's the uh, organic onion rings. Those are good. In fact, yeah, I have them in here somewhere. They were good, but not as good as the Nathans. The Nathans were the real deal. I like I like them crispy. I like them crispy. That's the way I that's the way I like it. Let's see. Hey Randall, just wanted to stop in and say hi. BLH. I hope you and Calvin enjoyed all your king cake for Mardi Gras. Yeah, we had Mardi, we had king cake, had two of them. We had like a strawberry one and we had a regular one, and that was it. If I get king cake twice during the year, that's good. Now being that I got all this other stuff, hey, laying, laying around here, I got to kind of stay away from the king cakes. Under normal circumstances, I might have been able to get a few extra slices, but this year is not the year. Look what's, look what's sitting right next to me. Look, look what's sitting right next to me, these chocolate-covered cashews. These things are awesome, fantastic, super. These are the, these are, I'm telling you, these are the best chocolate-covered cashews I've ever eaten. And the reason is that they're mixed with white chocolate. They're white chocolate and milk chocolate mixed together. It makes a great combination. You can kind of taste that white chocolate inside. Yeah, so this is good. This is good. Did I know that when I bought it? No, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know I was going to say that. I didn't know. By the way, this is available on Amazon. Just got to look it up. This is this is a process. The cashews don't come from California, but they processed this. This was processed in California. I think it says uh, it says Oakdale, California. Oakdale, California. That's where that this is from. But this good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. And then, of course, like I say, how do you look? What's next to me? Caramel M and M's, and and I got brownie brittle. Brownie brittle. Anybody? Anybody ever ate brownie brittle? Oh man, this is. This is awesome. And of course, that goes good with ice cream. Brownie brittle. This is like uh, this is like brownie that's dry, dry, dry. Crispy, crispy, crispy like a, I don't know what you would say. Um, crispy like a Dorito. I don't know. But anyway, it's, it's dry. It's very dry. It's not moist. It's not, it, you know, it doesn't have it. You know, they dehydrated all the liquid out of it. So it's, so it's. It's not. It's good. It's good. And of course, you know, I finished off these M and M's, these <laughs> mint M and M's. You see, so I don't need to have any king cake. I got enough to, I got enough to get me in trouble. Now this, I, I've been having this. I still have it. I still have it. The caramel, the white chocolate with the caramel inside. I've had this for like four or five months. I, I got a few of them in there. I still got a three or four left. And that's it. And that's it. Then I, I, I have to save all the. The packages so I could remember them. Yeah, hey, hey, Randall, I'm here for the M and M's. Yeah, the M and M's. Yeah, the two M and M's. Yeah, so I got. See, I one thing I did is I got the little bag and I got the big. Let's see. Yeah, I got. Well, I got two little ones there. Anyway, two little ones. Every time I do, every time I do a, a, a every time I do a poll on it. The M and the the peanut M and M guys come out. Yeah, the peanut M and M guys get out, and they and they they make it hard for the poor mint. You know, the mint is a startup. The mint they started making the mint M and Ms a few years ago, I guess. And the same thing with the caramel, and the same thing with the crispy inside, and the pretzel inside, and all the other ones, the almond ones. They got to work real hard. They got to work real hard to catch up with the peanut M and Ms because the peanut M and Ms have been around forever. They've been around forever. All I can tell you is I know that I was living in California in nineteen uh, in nineteen sixty six. I was five years old. I was gonna I was going to be six, but I was five years old. And when I came to, to Louisiana, and I visited my grandfather and grandmother in the sixties, they had M and M's and M and M's with peanuts, and I think that's all they had. I don't think they had any other. I, it was only two. There was only two. 
And back then, they had the commercial, it melts in your mouth, not in your hands. Yeah. It was real simple back then. Now, all these other flavors, they got to work hard to catch up with the peanut M&Ms. Yeah, and that peanut M&Ms, that's a big M&M, the big yellow one, you know? It's amazing how they market it according to color. Yeah, they, so when you look, you know, when you see yellow, you automatically think of the peanut M&Ms. All right, let's see. Uh-oh, Alan's got a joke. Uh-oh. I guess, why? hey, Alan, why did the M&Ms go to school? I could, I could just about imagine. See, let's see. Oh, they want to be smarties. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, by the way, the smarties, that's another candy that's been around for a long time. That's um that's made in uh if I'm not mistaken, it's made in somewhere around Boston, Massachusetts. The little smarties. The little smarties, the thing that you pull and they're like little tablets, like they like medication. That's what they look like. Yeah, the uh, well, the jelly bellies. Who can who can tell me when the jelly bellies got started? Yeah, that's uh, I got I got jelly bellies somewhere in here. Hold on, let me see. The jelly bellies are in here somewhere. Where's the jelly bellies? I don't. Jelly bellies, jelly bellies. I'm gonna have to turn this place upside down. I got missing jelly bellies. Where are they? Where are they? They're hiding in here. Hey, this thing I want to show you. This is an old candy company. This stuff is good. When I used to go to the when I used to go to the trade shows, I used to always run into these guys. This product is made. This product is made in Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland. The company's been around for a long time. They've had opportunities to leave Maryland, but they're still made in the USA, and they're still in Maryland. They're still in Baltimore. This is the same company that makes the cow tail, the cow tail. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I went to a bunch of different shows. One year, I'd get vanilla. One year, I'd get the chocolate. One year, I'd get, they got the green apple. They got a bunch of different flavors. But the one I like is just the regular, the regular one. I'm not into the chocolate, car the chocolate caramel one. This is the good one. And of course, I always talk about every time I went to Boston and I passed by the I passed by the the Tootsie Roll plant. They make Junior Mints. Yeah, this is this is some good stuff. Hey, if you're old like me, you remember this stuff because this was major stuff back in the day. Back in the day, definitely. All right, let me see. Popcorn JB one. Oh yeah. Popcorn, I got popcorn, every every kind of popcorn you can imagine, I got that. Oh, got to get the popcorn, the Popeyes out the way. Let me get the Popeyes. This is empty, by the way. The, the, the chicken is gone. Yeah, the chicken is gone. It was good. I, it's great to eat Popeyes every once in a while. I'm in Popeye. I'm in Popeyes territory, without a doubt. But, yeah, as far as the popcorn is concerned, you got the uh, – the Reese's peanut butter, the Reese's peanut butter popcorn. When that thing opens, that thing's gonna be gone in no time. And you got the Pirates booty. Yeah, the Pirates booty. I've been giving them some uh, some good space there so everybody can see the part. It's got six grams of fat instead of like regular Cheetos. Let's see, I got some regular, I got Cheetos right here. Look, all right, you see, <laughs> I'm ready for everything. I'm ready for everything. All right, I'm looking at the calories. Let's see the fat content. Let's see what it is. I know it's not good. Oh, man, you don't want to know. Oh, man. You... Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. I scared. It was scared me a lot. But this is one and three-eighths. This is – so what they did was they put the fat. The fat for this is 13 grams. So that converts to probably about nine. Yeah, I guess I guess about nine grams per ounce. And the and the pirate's booty goes 
the pirate's booty goes at six. So you save a lot. You save so you save a lot of fat calories. And I did polls on the I did polls on the Cheetos and Crunchy wins out. Crunchy beats the beats the puffs. Crunchy beats the puffs. Yeah, I had a question. Never. I had a question. How many followers? I'm up to ten. I'm up to ten thirty. Ten thirty two, I think. Ten thirty three. I'm at ten thirty three. That's where I'm at. Ten thirty three. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put this up. Let's see. Ten thirty three. Let me go ahead and put ten thirty three up here. Ten. Ten thirty three. Ten thirty three. And I'm on day number 301. I'm going to go ahead and change that. 301. All right. Let's see. Let me change that up. All right. Let me go ahead and hit this. I'm going to put this up. Let's see if I made any mistakes. I don't know. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. Let me go ahead and change it to... Change it, not scroll, but I'm gonna go ahead and change it like this. Let's see. See the stuff we can do with all this stuff. My follower count is currently at 1033. Help me get to 2000 before Amazon Prime Day. I have been on Amazon Live for 301 days in a row. 365, here I come. I got 64 days left to go. 64 days left to go. 64 days. All right, let me get a little further on in my carousel. Yeah, there's uh Yeah, you got Orbel Redenbacher if you want to pop your own popcorn. And if you're if you're uh, if you're old like me, <laughs> you you remember the they had the they had the Jiffy Pop that used to put on the stove and you and it used to blow up with the aluminum foil, you know, the aluminum, whatever. Yeah. If you were if you had some money, you had that one. If you didn't have money, you had the regular private label or the Jolly Time. Yeah, Jolly Time. You didn't have the Orbell Redenbacher. Orbell Redenbacher was the expensive stuff. The foil hand. Uh, yeah. Rosalinda remembers. <laughs> Rosalinda remembers. Yeah, if you had the foil handle, you were rich. <laughs> yeah, that was ex that was expensive. Yeah, they're still in the stores. Yeah, they're still in the stores. But the thing that changed the to change the world in the popcorn world is because they didn't have microwave ovens when I was a kid. They didn't have microwave ovens, so they didn't have microwave popcorn. But when they came out with the microwavable packs, that changed the world with popcorn. It just made it, it just made it so much so much better. Yeah, but uh. <laughs> Yeah, if you had if you had the jiffy that those uh the thing with the handle that that was a big deal back in the day. Hey, look, the Fitbit sense is at two twenty four. Yeah, the other thing I used to do the other thing I used to do when we were kids, we used to take the hot dogs and we used to stick them with a fork and put them on the fire. And we used to cook we used to cook the we didn't have the microwave right we didn't have the microwave so we. You put it on top of the fire and you and you and you cooked your hot dog that way. The only thing is, the only thing is you learn at an earlier age you don't touch that fork at the end because you're gonna burn yourself. You learn that you learn that real early in life. Yeah, okay, got the Fitbit sense of 224.90. The lowest price it usually is is 199. There's only one time that it went to 189. That was on Cyber Monday. And uh, did y'all see the big uh, recall for for Fitbit? Recall had a big fit. Uh, had a big yeah. They had a big fit. Yeah, that's for sure. They had a big they had a big uh, recall with the battery getting hot or something like that. But it wasn't on this particular model. I was like, oh man, you got to be kidding. I hope that I hope that's not this model. But it was a different it was a different model. It wor it worried me because my number one brand, my number one selling brand is Fitbit. Number one selling brand for me is Fitbit. So, you know, you worry about a recall. Yeah, you worry about that. Anyway, that's recalls happen. If you think you could run a company and make a whole bunch of different stuff and never make a mistake, well, then 
you haven't been in the manufacturing business. Things happen, you know, things happen. And the sooner you let the consumer know that you got a problem, the better off it's going to be. You wait too long and you, you got problems. You got problems. Yeah, I'm telling Well, the price is right. The price is right on this particular scale, $39.95. I paid, and like I said, I paid $130 for this, this scale back five years ago. In 2017, I paid $130. So I really love the fact that it's $39.95 because it is, it's definitely affordable. And the thing is, as soon as you get on the scale in the morning, it sends your weight. It sends your weight to your watch, to your to your app. It sends it. You don't have to write it down. It just goes right on over to it. Yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. And like I said, when I did, you know, when I did my thing back, I'll just go back here. When I started my, when I let food get out of hand, which I, which I did. When I got up to 214 pounds and I needed to lose a few, I documented everything with the Fitbit. And then you see, that's that's what my chart looked like when it was all said and done. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Let me get rid of this part here. Yeah, so everything's there. Everything's, everything's documented. Like I said, Fitbit, I've said this before, Fitbit contacted me after I after I lost this weight. They wanted to know what I did to lose it. They wanted to know what I ate to lo lose it. They wanted to see if they could see what I. They wanted to see what I ate, and then, then they downloaded my all my data, because you got to give them the permission. You know, I guess you got to give them the permission. Then they looked at all my data. You know, I didn't care. Hey, Rosalinda, what do you think they found when they were looking through my food data? What do you think they found? They found some interesting things in there. They found, why is this guy eating shrimp and oatmeal together? They found, why is this guy eating so many jelly beans? They found, why is this guy eating so many Skittles? <laughs> they found, <laughs> they found a lot of stuff. Because you got to be, you got to be, you got to be, you got to be honest, right? You can't be playing with it. Oh, they found some fried chicken. They, they did find some Popeyes, yeah. They found Popeyes. They did find a pecan pie. They found pecan pie. They found some cheesecake. <laughs> they found cheesecake. I know they did. They found ice cream. They found ice cream. Oh, yeah, they found ice cream. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look what else they found. Oh, I know they found this. They found some brownie brittle. They had some brownie brittle on my... You think I went 119 days... You know, 115 days without eating something like this. Oh, yeah, I ate that. Let's see what else they found. I think they found some. Uh, let me see. Let me see. They found they found Jack Links. They found Jack Links in that in that deal. Uh, they found. They found some Doritos. Oh, yeah, they definitely found Doritos. They found Doritos and they found Cheetos. <laughs> And they found they found chili. I know they found chili. Yeah, they found chili. Where's my oh my chili's too far. I can't get my chili. Yeah. And they oh, and they found some of this too. They found some they found some red lobster biscuits, some cheddar bay biscuits from red lobster. They found that in the data. I know they did. Red beans and rice, they definitely found that. Yeah, they definitely positively, absolutely. No question about it. They found red beans and rice. They found a lot of red beans and rice. Well, that's good. That was the good eating part. They found some California raisins because I did eat a lot of raisins during that time period because raisins are pretty good for you. It's a good. I know it's got. I know it's got a lot of sugar, but it's good for you. Uh, what else did they? Uh, what else did they find? Let me see if there's anything else I can find. Uh, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong, but they did they did find some uh, some almonds, not the not the, not the spicy dill pickle because the spicy dill pickle didn't come out yet. But they did find some blue diamond almonds. They did they did find that, and I have a feeling I have a feeling I oh yeah here yeah. The red beans, the, 
the Camellia red beans from Louisiana, they found a lot of that. That's probably the highest thing I had. Probably had a lot of I had a lot of red beans in the, in the data. And I and I'll find something else. Um, there was one more thing that. I, I, oh, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. They found some, uh, some King's Hawaiian, they found King's Hawaiian rolls, and they found some Zaps potato chips. They found some Zaps craw taters. They did. They found a lot of craw taters in the records, you know. And other than that, but they, 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 I tell you what, they did find some cashews and some, uh, yeah, they did find cashews. They found cashews. I don't think I had any chocolate covered cashews at that time. I got it now, but I don't think I had it then. So they, didn't, they didn't have that. And I did, I think I had some of this in my system here. I think I had some, uh, not the not the silk almond chocolate milk, but the, the cashew milk, the chocolate, the chocolate cashew milk from silk. They found that in the records. And the other thing is they found a lot of skim milk from the cow. They found a lot of skim milk in the cow because I drank a lot. I drank a good bit of skim milk during that time period. Yeah, so that's what they found. That's what they found in me. And then they figured, well, we didn't find no quinoa. We didn't, you know, we didn't find any uh, green smoothies. Yeah, look. <laughs> they didn't find no green smoothies, I, I, I have to say. They didn't find none. Look, and look what I got, too. I, I am not, see, this is a pretty good unit to have here. If I could, if I could not, if I get it set right. Yeah. I got the Vitamix here. Yeah, I got the Vitamix. This is, uh, this is great for, for making green smoothies, but I ain't drinking none. No, not I, not I. Anybody drinks green smoothies? I don't. But anyway, that Vitamix, it's like 400 bucks, so I could, it can make, <laughs> I'm not going to make a green smoothie, but I tell you what, I'll, I'll make, I'll make a, a, a milk, I'll make a, a, a oh, this, <laughs> the ingredients, uh, if I'm going to make something in the Vitamix, it ain't going to be, it ain't going <laughs> to, it ain't going to be nothing green. Now, it could be some of this, it could be some of this haagen -Dazs. Might be some of that in there. It might be. It could be. It's possible that it could be some New Orleans pecan praline ice cream in there. You might find that in the in the Vitamix. Uh, you might find some of this Tarani syrup in in the Vitamix. You might find that in my Vitamix. But you ain't gonna see no vegetables in my Vitamix. Now, if it's for somebody else, that's a different story. Yeah, somebody else. Yeah, of course, of course. But but I might have the Vitamix, but that's not what I that's not what I use it for. So I guess I don't have any idea. I guess I won't be demonstrating any green smoothies. No, I won't be doing that. Because I believe that if you're gonna do something, it's gotta be something natural, okay? It's gotta be something that you do. The stuff I talk about is the stuff that I have. The stuff that I have and the stuff that I I talk about the stuff that I feel comfortable talking about. I don't just have anything that I'm not going to, I'm not a, well, you know, if you're a, let's say if you're a buyer, if you're a buyer for a, for a chain and you've been buying something for like 20 years, then you probably want to know what somebody has to say of something that they don't nothing, know nothing about, you know, because of, they've been buying something for a long time, buying all kinds of different things. So they say, well, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that's sturdy. I'm looking for something coming from a particular place. I'm looking for can they can they follow through? Like if if I have a customer, the product breaks, uh, are they going to replace it? You know, uh, there's all kinds of things that you take in consideration. So the deal is, I'd rather talk about things that I that I know real well, and that's that's what I do. So maybe I don't go, maybe I never make it to a list. You know, maybe I never do, and I just talk about the same old stuff. I I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad because you know a lot of people, a lot of people that watch my stuff, they, they, I know they got to be deep down thinking Randall's talking about the same stuff all the time. But that's, I, I, it's the stuff I have. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Talking about the stuff that I have.
the the thing that the thing that's that's pretty cool in my situation is that a lot of the stuff that I talk about, I know the highs and the lows, and there's nothing more important than knowing the range, the price range of something when you're buying something, because it's just like it's just like I bought the Stream Deck. It cost me two forty nine. But I bought it when I decided when I decided to buy it, I bought it. But if somebody would have told me, um, I think it's going to I think it's going to 199, then maybe I would have waited, you know. But the stream deck, I was gonna buy it right away because I bought it once I decided I, I liked it, I decided to buy it, whatever. But there's nothing more aggravating than when the price goes way down. But anyway, the deal is. If you're interested in a weed eater, I can tell you, I can tell you the history of that weed eaters. I can tell you what's been going on all year long because I've been watching it every day. I've been watching it. So I can have a pretty good idea of what's going on. I might not be able to tell you that I tested a hundred different weed eaters and this one's the best. No, I can't tell you that. I can tell you if it's in the ballpark. All I know is that this this weed eater, this WG163 that I had in my hand a while ago, man, that thing flew. That thing flew like crazy. Okay, let's see. Uh, all right, let me see. Let me see. Let me go back. I, I've been I've been seeing what was said. It's easier to think a lot messier. Like him, Fitbit had a fit. Yeah, Fitbit had a fit. Oh, that had to be hard because that was a mil That was a whole bunch of watches that they had to worry about. I want to get the scale to match my watch. Yeah, um, that's a that's a good idea. You know what it is? It's a motivator. The scale, to have the scale, you just feel like, wow, this is awesome to have, and it motivates you to to clock in at a good, you know, you're hoping. It's amazing. When you get on that scale in the morning, come on, man, come on. I want it to be lower than it was yesterday. Please, please, you know, that's all you that's all you're hoping for. And what happens? And this is what people don't understand. You get on this. <laughs> it's not what you do day to day. Because you can be you can be 200 pounds one day. And the next day you could be 202. So you could be two pounds higher. But that didn't mean that you lost, that you gained weight. The next day and the next day you hit it, you might go to 199. So you're you're. Your weight varies quite a bit, so so the so the deal is, um, it's just being consistent and doing the right thing. As long as you do the right thing, as long as you do the right thing, even though it might be a little discouraging to see that weight go up instead of down, <laughs> which which happens, um, if you keep on doing the right thing, it should eventually you know go in the right direction. But you saw the one that the thing I had with the Fitbit, it went straight down. It just the good thing I had was that I never hit a plateau, never hit a plateau, it went straight down for 115 days, just kept on going down, 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 down. So um, it's the, the biggest accomplishment that I ever did in my life, I would say, was losing 51 pounds in 17 weeks. Hey, look, I just did 300 days of live streaming. That ain't nothing compared to doing, uh, you know, losing 51 pounds in 17 weeks. It, it takes a lot of work. A lot of work to lose 51 pounds in 17 weeks. And I know you see things on TV where they said, all I did was eat these eat these dinners and I lost all this weight. But they don't tell you anything else. They don't tell you what they did. They didn't tell you whether they went running for 10 miles. <laughs> they didn't tell you that. They just said, oh, all I did was eat this dinner and I lost all this weight. Nah. Or I took this pill and I lost the weight. Nope. Yeah. So Rosalinda drinks something. You you got the you got the tea that's green. I'm not a I don't know, for some reason I'm not a tea I'm not a fan of tea. I'm not I mean I, I can drink it, but I'm not it just you know how it is, it's just something about it that just doesn't it doesn't appeal to me. It's just like two out of three people, I would say. I'll tell you what, I got some pretty good stats I come up with, just the just the stuff that I do myself. I come up with good things. Two out of three people love mint. One out of three don't. So did they make it wrong? No, they didn't make it wrong. It's just that the person don't like mint. Well, I don't 
I don't care. You know, I don't care for tea. And by the way, you don't see me with any tea anyway, do you? Did you hear? Did you see me drink any tea? No, you have. You haven't seen me. In fact, I kind of stay away from the tea. I talk about the coffee all the time. I don't talk about the tea because I'm not a, I'm not a tea drinker. So I kind of not talk about it. But I do. I'll mention it if it's in the top 100, like the you know the organic tea. They got the organic tea that's blended in the USA. That's usually in the top 20. I talk about it a little bit, but I'm not going to go into great detail because I'm not a. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't do anything for me. So when I, you know, when I, when I get these drinks, you know, I'm, I'm going for the, for the red stuff. I'm going for the red stuff. Oh yeah. This is, you know, black raspberry or, or strawberry or something. That's where I'm going. You know, as far as this concern, I'm not going to do the tea thing, but I can tell you the lemonade, the lemonade for this, the classic lemonade for this sparkling ice was really, really good. I, I was really surprised. It tasted really, really good. Awesome. It was great. Let's see. Do I got Propel? Oh, I got some. I got some Propel Kiwi Strawberry. You know what? I think I'm going to. You know how they say you got to drink some water? You know how I always tell you that this tastes good cold and then tastes good room temperature? Well, then guess what? This is room temperature right now. And I got no problem opening it up and and drinking it. Room temperature, and I can smell it too as soon as you open it up. You know, the thing is, it's good to have, like I say all the time, it's always good to be hydrated. So, the more water you drink, the better off you are. I guarantee you this this is better than getting water out of your, out of your tap. <laughs> Yeah, the tap water. Some people have good tasting tap water. Some people do not. But anyway, this works. Yeah, the uh, lemonade, the classic lemonade. Yeah, the classic lemonade. This right here. It's 17 ounces. They have 17 different flavors. And it's got zero calories. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Five calories. Yeah, five calories. It's got only five calories. It's got the vitamins and the antioxidants. Okay, so, I mean, that's not bad. Five five calories. See, I can handle the zero, the five, the 10, the 13, the 15, the 20. I can handle that. That's not too bad. I just don't want to drink something like this and it'd be 150 calories. I don't want that many calories because I want to say, and it's real easy. I want to save my calories for something like this, you know? If I if I drink it, if I drink the calories, I don't have no room for this. All right. And then the other thing, I don't have no room for this. Uh, you always want to have room for rum raisin, <laughs> rum raisin from Hagen Dots. Yeah, you always want that. Yeah, so that's that's how I do that. That's how that goes. All right. So I, I'm just saying this. If you happen to know anybody. That would benefit from an Instapot that could cook all these different ways. This is a great piece of equipment, and I, I'd pass it on to somebody. It, it's, you know, it's probably not you because I think a lot of people that probably are on Amazon all the time, they probably bought one already. I think everybody's got one. But if you don't know, just in case you don't know, this is what the lid looks like. The heating mechanism is up on the top. So you got like a rice cooker, kind of, and then you put this on the top, and then now it converts to a, it's not a rice cooker no more. It's not a steamer no more. It's, we're talking about air frying. This thing is real heavy too, by the way. It's a good workout. But this, uh, this, like I say, this is great. I'm going to, oh, I forgot. This is what I ate today. I ate this today. My wife cooked some of this. General Tso's, out of all the sauces that are sold in the U.S., this is my favorite one. This is my favorite sauce. No question about it. No question. Absolutely. Yeah, this is good stuff. So what I did was I took the, well, my wife did. She put the, she put the chicken in, 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 the, uh, in the air fryer, and she, you know, she got it real crispy, and then, this sauce is, like they say, to die for. It 
it's not spicy, spicy, spicy. It's not off the. It, it's not off. It's not. It's not extreme or anything. It's got a kick to it, and it's got the sweet to it. The sweet and the kick. Hey, Monica, how's it going? Amazing chicken. Choosing happy. I'm telling you, this stuff is. This I'll. I'll raise it up again. I worked with these guys in 2010 and 2011. Yeah, 2010, 2011. So I, I spent a lot of time. I spent a lot of time working working with this, and this was one of the best selling entrees in the country. Yeah. Yeah. As far as just in case you don't, you know, just in case you don't know, yeah, this is one of the top selling in the country. I'm talking about the General So, and also Bird's Eye has garlic chicken. And they have Alfredo chicken. That's off the charts. Those two do extremely well. The other one that does well is Chicken Florentine by Bertoli. So Chicken Florentine by Bertoli, garlic chicken, chicken Alfredo from Bird's Eye, and this stuff right here. Yeah, as far as P.F. Chang, P.F. Chang has some, you know, some good items, but not super. They're not in superstar status. Not like. Not like uh, garlic chicken and Alfredo chicken. Garlic chicken. If if you remember, if you've been around long enough, when the skillet meal category started, it was bird's eye. It was green giant. It was Tyson was in the early game too. Tyson had some items too. Tyson did a chicken fajita and they did a they did a chicken fajita and a beef fajita. They did pretty well with that, and then all of a sudden they got out. They got out of it. But yeah, I was I was in the early days of the skillet meal category. I was at the beginning, and then it got big, got real big, and then it got smaller, and then now it's growing again. It's growing again. All right, let's see. And then orange chicken. <laughs> orange chicken is awesome. Orange chicken is a West Coast thing. If you live on the East Coast, not as much. But yeah, a lot of a lot of people that bought it were West Coast, and I and for us, me, I'm talking about me and people like me. We're not too much into the orange chicken. We love, you know, we love the chicken fried rice, the shrimp fried rice, the chick, the 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 all the all the all the stir fries did well. Whether it was beef stir fry, chicken stir fry, um, shrimp stir fry. When it comes to entrees, there's two there's two things that really really do extremely well. That's shrimp and chicken. It's like that's all we care about in the U.S. Shrimp and chicken. When it comes to entrees, I'm talking entrees. I'm not talking about anything else. For some reason, I don't know why beef and and beef and pork stir fry just didn't do as well. It was all about the chicken and the shrimp. And if I and if you and the thing is, I was in the early days of that business. I was, I was in the very well. Y'all remember Tom? Tom, Tom was here the other day. He worked with me. He worked with me for like you know twelve years. I worked with him for like twelve years. Yeah, he was the guy. He worked in for. He was the plant manager. He's the one that made all the skillet meals. I went out and sold them. He went and made them. Until private equity took over. When private equity took over the business, then that was. That was it. That was it. You telling me a shrimp fry this rice? Let's see. Yeah, I'm talking about I'm talking about the fact that in the US as far I used to work in the in the I spent many years in the frozen skillet meal category. I I crunched the numbers, the Nielsen numbers for the whole frozen food category. That's why I know everything, everything in the frozen food category. That's what I know. But the deal is I was in the skillet meal category. So I'm just saying, like, let's say you got a wok. Let's say you buy a wok on Amazon. The chicken stir fry, the shrimp stir fry, the chicken fried rice, the shrimp fried rice. That's the one, two, three, four punch. All four of those items rock. They rock. They do real well. And then of course the other the other thing is the garlic, the garlic chicken, the garlic chicken, the garlic shrimp do well. And then the other the other deal is the Alfredos. Anything with Alfredo, anything that's scampy, that that does well. And if if you're trying to and if you're coming up with strange uh things, 
uh, it's hard to get traction because people people eat the same way forever and ever. Chicken fried rice was real popular 20 years ago, and it's still popular. Let's see. Let's see. You're telling me a shrimp fried this rice? No, no. Shrimp didn't fry rice. No. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, let me see. Let me go back. Let me see. Hold on a second. Hey, by the way, Gracie, uh, thanks for uh, uh, jumping in. Uh, I knew about Gracie before I even started on Amazon Live. I knew about Gracie before it even before I even got on. I knew about Gracie. Gracie was one of the first, I guess, five or ten people that I knew on Amazon Live. And then next thing you know, I ended up then I ended up on Amazon Live. The only thing is, she came. Um, her deal, her deal, her 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 deal is TikTok. I think, if I'm not mistaken, she did real well with TikTok, real fast, real fast. And then she got on this. In my case, my my success came with LinkedIn, but LinkedIn is not. LinkedIn's nothing like TikTok. <laughs> LinkedIn's nothing like Instagram. LinkedIn's nothing like all the other, you know, it's kind of like a specialty deal. It's 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 kind of like all the people. Well, I, I guess you can see the deal here on Amazon Live, for instance, we all we only know about whatever you call yourself. You can call yourself whatever you want. That's all we know, right? That's all we know. But on LinkedIn, you know where somebody worked, you know how long they worked at that place, you know where they went to school, you know everything about them. And by the way, anybody wants to look me up on LinkedIn, look me up and you can learn you can learn a lot of stuff you might not even know. Or you can go on Google, look me up on Google and you'll and you and Google will tell you who I am. By the way, my son is uh, right now he's when he wakes up, he starts talking to the clock. The clock, the clock, it's a Lenovo clock and he talks to it and asks and he always wants to ask it a question like, hey, what's the temperature here? And for some reason, like choose, choosing choosing happy, Calvin always wants to know the temperature in Milwaukee. Why? I don't know. But anyway, he's asking about the temperature in Milwaukee. He'll ask about the what happened to the Dow Industrial average if the stock market did good. He'll ask about the futures. He'll ask the, about the price of gas. He'll ask all kinds of things. Instead of him asking me, he's asking the clock. And I had it in my carousel the other day. It's Lenovo, Lenovo, Lenovo. And it's uh, it works out with Alexa. The one I had in that Amazon has works with Alexa. The one I have uh, works with Google. Yeah. Let's see. I'm honored. You're right. Yeah. So the so the. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. So the so the deal is like I talk about all the uh, I talk about all the other live streamers. Like the deal with Gracie. Gracie's Gracie's deal is she talks about deals. <laughs> That's her deal. She talks about deals. In my case, I talk about what I did for forty five years. I talk about the food industry. But at the same time, food is only a small piece of Amazon's pie. So I got to spend time talking about stuff I never. I never sold watches before. I never sold uh, lawnmowers before. I never sold lighting before. I never, you know, I never sold any of that. Yeah, I spent all, it all in the food industry. So I talk about the food. It's I don't know about you. I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. You can't buy. You can't. Um, I don't. I don't know. The thing is, if you, I give you for instance. See, like I got an Apple case and I have a Samsung case. Uh, if you got a problem, like I bought a phone and I need a case. So once you solve the problem and you get your case, are you going to be talking about the case for the next year? Uh, no. You don't worry about it until you need another case, which is usually two years from now. So I got the I get this phone to go Amazon Live. So two years later, I'll be looking for another case like this. Will it be Will it be Samsung? Maybe it will. Or maybe Amazon will still be on Apple. I don't know. But the deal is, when you talk about food, we we want to eat food four or five. Or I don't know about you. Some people might be satisfied with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but I'm not. I'm thinking about food all the time. As soon as I wake up, I'm thinking about what I'm going to eat. 
And I'm thinking about, well, I get to have 2,500 calories or 3,000 calories. I don't want to eat it all at one time. <laughs> you know, so, you, so you're thinking about it. So food's always exciting, especially when you haven't eaten. If you didn't eat, yeah, if you didn't eat, then you're real excited about food. But if you just stuffed yourself, <laughs> like I do all the time, yeah, if you went and stuffed yourself, let's say, let's say you ate pizza. And you had three slices left. And you were full, but you figured, you know, I just assume knock it out. So you eat it. Then you're stuffed. Then I start talking about food. Well, you're not as interested in it because you're not hungry. But I guess what? In four hours you will be. And, you know, so that's that's what I'm talking about. So the thing is, Amazon has all the food, all the food. Look, if you were looking for this, if you go to a grocery store and you try to find this, you're going to good luck finding it. Let me tell you, good luck finding this, but you can find it on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon's got, yeah. If you're looking for brownie, if you're looking for brownie brittle, a particular brownie brittle, you might find, you might find two fl two flavors or three flavors, but you're not going to have the one that you like. The one that you like, they don't carry because you're different, which I am all the time. I'm always different. You either like the one that everybody likes. Well, if that's the case, then that's good. But if you like the one that I'll give you, for instance, hey, Blue, Di Blue Diamond's a great example. Because a typical store is not going to carry 10 different kinds of Blue Diamond albums. They're going to carry just the best-selling ones, and, and you're not going to find the one that you want. But on Amazon, you'll find it. You can find it. So if you got a particular thing that you really, really like, there's a good chance you find it. Now, oh, yeah, I got a. I got a new grill. I got to put this in the carousel later. It, my wife, my wife wanted something a little lighter and new. Our two drills, this drill, well, it's not there no more. But the two drills we had were after Katrina, so now we got one 15 years younger. Yeah, it's it's ready. So we're uh, that's something I'll be able to throw in. Uh, yeah, so the deal is like Gracie, like Gracie does her deal. She's talking about she's talking about all the deal, you know, all the deals. That's her deal, 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 deal. I'm talking about I'm talking about this is not because of the deal, it's because that's what I got. I ended up getting this. So that's that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. So everybody has a different a different deal. I think I think uh I think one thing though. I think I'm the most unique Amazon live streamer because I because I get that niche because I'm kind of covering so much territory, so much territory um, that doesn't usually get covered. Not to the extent that I do as far as as far as the food is concerned. I'll cover anything you're <laughs> any any food you any food you want to talk about. I'm ready. I'll talk about it. All right. Let's see. Um, going down the carousel, going down the carousel, got the, uh, oh yeah, you got the greater goods, you know, the greater goods, um, uh, scale. I'm going to show you this cause this is part of the deal. Like I showed you that Vitamix, the Vitamix that I have that I'm going to have to put in the carousel later down the road. Well, let me show you this, uh, this scale. Cause I think the scale is really good. This is a nutrition scale, nutrition and it's from the company. The company's from from St. Louis, the St. Louis company. All you gotta do is look for the avocado. Yeah. So check this out. I I bought mine for I bought mine back in well you can see right there I bought it in on November seventeenth. I paid thirty seven dollars, but it's it's forty seven right now. But it's pretty cool. Pretty cool scale. It gives you. It gives you the salt content. Some people got to worry about salt. Some people got to worry about sugar. Some people got to worry about carbohydrates. <laughs> Some people got to worry about total calories. You know, so you get all the information before you start eating. Here you go. Let me, let me run it. If you've been searching the internet for how many calories are in a strawberry, that's a great start. But you're on this page because you want more precision when it comes to your health. The Nutrition Facts Scale from Greater Goods will help if you're getting into shape or just trying to be healthier overall. Let's open it up. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this scale. All right, open her up. Ooh, 
First off, I see we've got a code book. And then just a, a friendly reminder that uh, not only do you have a five-year warranty with this scale, but we also are here in St. Louis, Missouri, if you ever should need help. Go ahead and get out the scale. So there is the scale. It's got a glass top. The batteries are already inside it, so it's ready to go. And I'm going to tell you a few of the features of this scale while I make one of my favorite smoothie recipes. And at the end, you'll see how this scale is able to calculate the nutrition of your food. And you can zero out the scale. There's a zero button right there. All right, so I'm looking up the code for strawberries. All right, so 1157, I've entered the code for strawberry, so it knows exactly how to calculate the nutrition of what I'm gonna put in it. I'm gonna start dropping my strawberries in that. You can kind of see how the numbers change when I drop that strawberry in and it calculates immediately. Now I'm making a full recipe for the smoothie, so I wanna be able to save what I've got here already and it's gonna calculate the total nutrition at the end. So I'm gonna hit the save button. You hear it beep twice and it has saved my entry in there. And then I will clear it. And that's gonna clear it for the next food that we're gonna put in there. One, four, zero, three. Drop in the banana. I like this because it adds a little protein to my smoothie. Now there are 2000 different foods in this scale. You can actually add custom foods into it that you might eat all the time. And my custom number for my protein is zero one. It's showing exactly what's going into my smoothie. Really easy to read with that clear backlit screen there. Really easy to clean. So now I'm ready. I can hit the total button on the scale and we can see our final result. All right, my smoothie is blended. So outside of smoothies, it's also great for maybe making a full family meal and know the nutrition that went into it. And it's also just a perfect companion in the kitchen for a food scale that goes way beyond just measuring weight. Add the Greater Goods Nutrition Fact Scale to your cart now and start tracking exactly what goes into your body. And to see how Greater Goods is giving back through our products, check out our latest charity video. Thanks for watching and remember to live thoughtfully. It's a good smoothie. So behind me is the Fresh Starts Community Garden here in St. Louis, Missouri, and they are doing incredible work providing. Yeah, sometimes it takes a while. It takes a while to get off of that uh, that video, but you can see how they break it all up so that so that so the deal is you can you can put whatever you want in that Vitamix or the blender or whatever, and you can break it down and, and add everything to it. And once you make your formula, let's say yeah, let's say you I don't know you put uh, let's say you put uh, four ounces of strawberries and four ounces of bananas and um, a cup of milk um, in three dates, or whatever. You get all the information. And you come up with the recipe, and once you figure out what the recipe is, once you set it, then you then you could use that code later down the road to to know exactly what you're. You know, if you do something special, you don't have to do it by hand every every time. Once you develop it, then you're then you're set. You know what you're getting into. Just make it the same way every time you you go ahead and make it. Hey, Johnny, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've been I've been knowing that you existed for a long time because I've seen I've seen um, I've seen you make comments on other streams during the last six eight months or so. So I, see, I know about you. See, before you even got there, before you even got here. Uh, yeah, the, the only hey Jeff, the only the thing that I got open right now is I got I got brownie brittle with the uh, with the the Reese's the Reese's pieces. Which is really good, by the way. And I got the oh, you know what? Um well now that you ask me, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get me one. Just so you see what it is. I'm gonna show you what it is. They 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 sell a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Now I, I've gone I've been going to snack conventions since 1981. And and the thing that's real the thing that's really exciting is to go to a snack convention because you don't know what you're going to eat. You got so much to choose from. But anyway, here's the Reese's Pieces and the and the Brownie Bro. 
So this is a real, this is not a moist brownie. This is a dried brownie and it's, and it's crispy and it's got the little Reese's pieces in here. And if you haven't eaten this before, you need to eat, you need to try this. Because if you try, if you try, well, let's put it this way. If you try this and you like it, you might, you might be upset that I got you to try this because this is some good stuff. All right. All right. I'm going to, I just as soon eat one. Okay. Here it might. It's going to take me a while to consume it, but I'll try. It's very crunchy. But the one thing I can tell you, is that if you're looking for brownie brittle, you have to look hard. I mean, you gotta, you know, you you you, de you definitely gotta look for it. But but on Amazon, you got all the different you got all the different kinds. The thing here is that it doesn't have to be the Reese's Pieces. The regular original brownie brittle is unbelievable. You don't have to have the Reese's Pieces, but the Reese's Pieces is something a little different. That's all. Just like they added it to the popcorn. If you got a good popcorn, it don't have to be Reese's peanut butter popcorn, but it's sure, sure good. Look, just like Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy is pretty good by itself, but if you want to add Reese's, Reese's peanut butter cup to it, it just makes it a little more interesting. What's that? Jeff says, what's that? I don't know. Hey, Randall and Calvin, not sure if sleep yet. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah, Calvin went Calvin went to sleep, but he's coming. He's gonna get up. He's gonna he's gonna be snacking with me a little later. He's gonna be up to three o'clock because you wouldn't you don't want to eat at eleven if you're going to bed at twelve. But if you're going to bed at three, that's okay. Crunchy oh, the one you just put away. Oh, oh, this is this is called Sheila G's. This is the lady right here, Sheila G. I think you can see it. Okay, Sheila G. That's the the one that 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 did it. But you can see it right on the top. You see Sheila G's brownie brittle. And I tell you, it took the world by storm. Yeah, this is what it this is what it is, and this is this is good stuff. I didn't know about Sconza. Sconza, this is something I took a shot at. And uh, uh, the fact that it had white chocolate, the fact that it had white chocolate and milk chocolate together, I thought it would be interesting. And it is. So I, I made a pretty good find here. It's a pretty good find. And like I say, it's on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon. All right, let's see. They got the gallons microwave oven. Look, if you if you're, I don't know if you got kids that are going to school, are they moving out? If you got kids that say, okay, I'm out of here. I'm going to make I'm going to make my own decision. I'm going to make my own decisions, and I'm going out to the apartment. They might need a microwave. They might need a toaster oven. And this is pretty affordable. And it's pretty cool looking too. This is the toaster oven, but what I have in the carousel is the microwave oven. The microwave oven is the one that you need more than the toaster oven, I would say. Agree or not agree? The microwave oven is so much part of our life, we got to have that. We can do it without the toaster, but we can't do it without the microwave. You got to have it. This one this one bounces around from 49, 59, and 79. It comes in retro red. It comes in bebop blue. There's the bebop blue. It comes in vinyl black. It comes in surf green. The thing that's cool about it is that if you set it for your office, just think about it. Let's say you're working at home, and a lot of people are. Let's say you got your office. You don't have to have the best microwave in the world. It's your office. You just need to be able to heat up that burrito or that cup of soup or that cup of coffee. So you don't need a real expensive microwave. And if you get that cool-looking microwave oven for $49 or $59, that's pretty good. And if you get the up. Uh, and if you need, I don't know, if you need an oven, if you need an oven in your office, 
this this can match the microwave and on top of that if you want to put a little refrigerator they sell the refrigerator and that matches the microwave they do like i said it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a big microwave i mean it's not gonna be a big refrigerator it's kind of like geared for an office kind of geared for a secondary i would say and the fact that it's retro they didn't even have microwave ovens in the 50s but it's pretty cool that they made believe like they did and that's what it would i guess that's what it would have looked at looked like if if um if it had existed at that time all right i'm i, I keep on getting kicked out here oh well sounds like my oldest 6 a.m every day on the minute yeah it's hard to get sleep if you got a bunch of people in your house it's hard to get sleep and the older you get the older you get a lot of times it gets harder it gets harder to get that to get going so you never know when you're gonna be uh sneaking to the kitchen to get something to get something to eat hey i don't know about you <laughs> what's it i don't know i don't know if you've done this but what about if you accidentally got up like in the middle of the night do you check on amazon live to see who's doing an amazon live because there's a good chance you might find you might find david <laughs> david's the one that's like in the middle of the morning that you might find at 3 4 a.m in the morning not me i don't have the i don't have the early shift i'm usually done for 1 a.m 1 a.m comes around that's about as yeah i used to do a lot of live stream i used to live stream quite a bit up to 1 or 2 a.m in the morning i did that for a while i did that for a while but then i realized that it's probably better to finish it up a little earlier so that's what i've been doing and then when you get to november it's good that <laughs> October, November, it's good to live stream all day long because everybody's in the buy-in mood, October, November. Let's see. Let me come back. <laughs> yeah, the deal. Hey, Thalia, how you doing? Uh, the, one thing, the one thing I can tell you is that when, when, I, when I was a kid, they always talk about if you're sleeping a lot that you're lazy. No, if you could get sleep, if you could actually get good quality sleep, it's actually good for you. Because the Fitbit, the Fitbit said so, you know. The Fitbit said, <laughs> the Fitbit tracks your sleep. It lets you know what your sleep score is when you wake up. It lets you know what your resting heart rate is. So the lower that resting heart rate is, the better. That means your heart's not working that hard to keep your body functioning. Yeah, so the thing is, yeah, I think I try to get as much I try to get as much sleep as I can, but unfortunately, uh Calvin wakes me up all the time. Yeah. I hear someone you Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I, well, well, let's put it this way. You want to talk about I've done as far as streams are concerned, not only have I streamed 301 days, 301 days in a row, I've streamed my longest continuous stream was eight hours. There's a you know, there's a lot of people that stream and they have a hard time getting an hour. I I did eight hours. Okay. But the deal is I'm talking about food. I could talk about that forever. As long as my voice works, I can continue talking about that. So the longest stream that I ever had was eight hours. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it was from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. That was eight hours straight. Now, the longest that I actually streamed in a day was 17 hours and 54 minutes. And that was on Black Friday. 17 hours, 54 minutes. And the only reason it wasn't longer is because I had to redo another, I had to redo my carousel. I used to have to pick things out, put new things in, you know, decorate it, whatever. And then, so I went from 2 a.m. to 2 a.m. So I did that, did that before. So when Black Friday comes around and Amazon Prime Day, expect me to be around because I get started at 2 a.m. Do I want to get up at 2 a.m.? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. But I did. Yeah. 
So I don't know what Prime Day. Anybody hearing any rumors on Prime Day? Uh, I I read something one time, like possibly in July, I guess. I don't know. But Prime Day's. A, hey, if anybody tells you that Prime Day don't have no deals, that's not the case. They got some good deals on Prime Day. Prime Day got really, really good deals. Well, I tell you what, this uh, Instapot Duo, Chris, it was uh, 119. It was on deal at that time. The the uh, hedge trimmer was $111, which was a great deal at the time. The Fitbit Sense was, I think, $199 at the time, and that was a pretty good price at that time. Uh, yeah, so a lot of the a lot of the things did a lot of the things did good. Let's see. Oh man. Um. Yeah. Okay. Going to the fridge air. Look, I got this fridge air. I talked about ice machines last year and sold a bunch of ice machines, but this year I decided I'm gonna have one. Now I got one. Look, I couldn't start. I couldn't start on Amazon and have everything all of a sudden. All at the same time, I it got to give me some time to buy a few things. So I decided after all said and done, I had to get me this ice machine. I think it's pretty cool. I like it a lot more now that I have it. I was wondering if I was gonna, if I was gonna be excited about it, but I got to tell you, it's it's pretty neat to have. If it wasn't so white, and the lights weren't weren't so bright, I'd show you the, I could show you the ice cubes. show you ice cubes but they don't show up you can barely see them because it it just looks like one big solid piece of white but and i don't, I don't want to drop this on my keyboard no i don't want that can you see the ice yeah they're a little bullet ice so it's pretty cool i like it so it's 129 dollars. it was 106 i've seen it as low as 100 bucks so i'm i tell you what frigidaire is an old brand frigidaire has been around forever I remember going to my grandparents' house and they had frigid air. So you know you like frigid air, frigid air. So that's so you used to see a lot of that way back in the day. So the so the thing is that's an old brand. Been around forever. So anyway, this this kind of worked out really good. So I was pretty happy. All right, let's see. Uh, I have no idea. Didn't start watching Amazon live streams until end of November. Yeah, November, December, January, February. Well, you got a good, you're doing good. You're doing good. LOL, yes, but it is bright. That's my garage freezer. Just a basic standalone freezer. No more, no less. Yeah. By the way, we were talking about this uh, yesterday, I think. Uh, during Katrina, I had an odd, no. No, my grandparents had an odd avocado green, uh, refrigerator that was a that was a color that wasn't popular for too long it had a, it had a sharp period of time um the uh the freezer i had one of the freezers i had during uh uh during during katrina i ended up losing it because the three i had three freezers i lost all three during katrina uh but uh it was one of those uh real popular colors from the from the 70s yeah it kind of bit the dust kind of bit the dust now now there's so many different uh things we can buy now all kinds of different colors but everything kind of goes in in waves of popularity all right let's see i got the the 23 and i got the 23 and me and and the uh ancestry dna i got it somewhere let me get rid of my yeah by the way if you ever get a chance this is a great cake here it's on amazon it's the number one it's the number one cake it's got the it's a petitone the petitone cake it's got the uh it's got the little dried fruit inside man this is good you you slice this up and you eat some ham with it some salty ham on uh, with that oh man that's good that's good good stuff all right, anyway, I got my Ancestry DNA kit. My my mother-in-law lives with me. She's 98 years, seven months. 98 years, seven months. And we just did the Ancestry DNA test. All you had to do was come up with a saliva sample. You put it in. You put it in the plastic bag. You seal it. You put the plastic bag in the box, and you seal it, and you bring it to the post office. The, 
the uh, the box is already addressed. It's ready to roll. You don't have to pay the postage. You just drop it off to the postman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what, this is a question that I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask this question. Did y'all see the new commercial for the United States Postal Service? Did y'all see the one? I've been everywhere. <laughs> Did y'all see that? That's a real nice commercial. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? I've been everywhere. It's the song sung by Johnny Cash. I've been everywhere. It kind of, it kind of reminds me. I think it's a. I love the song. I always did love the song. But when I was in the food industry, I was everywhere. I was at every state, all 48 states. I was everywhere. I went everywhere. I made a point of going everywhere, except Hawaii and Alaska. Okay, you can't get much done in Hawaii. And you can't get much done in Alaska in the food business. The corporate offices are not in Hawaii and they're not in Alaska. So you don't go there. But the other 48 states have been everywhere. But that's a great commercial. I really love it. And, and you got to remember, they're the guys that deliver some of your Amazon packages, the United States Postal Service. Hey, look, if you know anybody getting into live streaming uh, and you want to do them a favor, if they're getting into it, they could sure use a mic because a mic comes in handy. I was told to get a Blue Yeti, and I did because I didn't know what I was getting into. That was back in 2019, and I paid $95 or $99, and I've been using it ever since. But it's a great way to get started. Hey, look, if you remember, I was wearing this Bose, the Bose headset, the headphones. I got them here somewhere. Got them here. Yeah, these things are awesome. I wore them for like four months, four and a half months. Um, working with my stream deck, I'm gonna I'm gonna start wearing them again. But they really they're really great. I never saw them on deal. They stay at regular price for a long time, and I, I've seen them twenty five or thirty five dollars off. But now it's fifty bucks off, so that's the best price I've seen with for Bose. Hey, I got this. I got the Samsung forty three inch. It's a great TV. It's a smart TV. I had a smart TV 10 years ago, but it ain't smart anymore. It's not too smart. They made a lot of progress. And I talked about it when it was 497. Talked about it when it was 447. Talked about it when it was 397. When it got down to 377, I thought, well, maybe I need to get one. So I ended up getting one, and then later on I got two. So I got two 43 inches right there on the side of me. And it got lucid. The A21, the A21 is the, the A21, is that the new, is that the new Samsung? Is that the, I'm not sure, A21, A21, A21. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the Lucid story, that's really, that's pretty neat. Ten years ago when I bought my house, when I bought my house, I needed five mattresses because I had five bedrooms. So I bought five mattresses. I went on Amazon. I read about the review. I read the reviews, and I saw the price. I thought the price was good, so I bought five mattresses. Well, when I started live streaming, I knew I bought it at Amazon. I just didn't know what it was. And then one day, I decided to look it up in 2021. Oh, it was last year, 2021. That's Samsung, right? That, that's the Samsung you're talking about, right? Because this is the uh, this is the Note 10 Plus. Then they had the Note 10, 11 Plus, and then they started coming up with the different. They come up with the different instead of instead of going 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They started changing the. Yeah, okay. They started changing, making it complicated. I like why didn't they go? Why didn't they just keep on going? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You know. But, yeah, it got a little more confusing. But, yeah, I like Samsung. Samsung, the thing is, oh, yeah, yeah, the Samsung TV. The thing I like is that I got the Samsung phone and the Samsung TV. If you have the same brand, you have a lot less chance of having technical difficulties. They, they, they You know, this phone is related to the TV that's right next to me. I'd rather them be related than them not. This phone did a... Did the ancestry DNA and the TV came up? Yeah, so the so the phone found out that it was related to the TV. Yeah, so it that tends to work. That works. It works good. 
So anyway, the, back to the mattresses. I got five of them, and I looked it up, and when it was all set, I flipped, well, the other day, well, not the other day, a few weeks ago, probably, I don't know, seven or eight weeks ago, I went and I flipped the mattress, and I looked at the tag, and they were, they were lucids. So look, what can I say? I got five of them. I've been having them for 10 years, and I'm telling you that they're good. Can I tell you that they're better than all the other manufacturers, the 185 other manufacturers that are out there? I can't tell you that. I'm not, I'm not a, a mattress expert. All I'm telling you is I bought them 10 years ago and they worked for me. Same thing like the printer. I got the HP printer. I got three of them. I got three back to back. Boom, boom, boom. I got the, the HP. I got the HP laptops, 17.3 inch. One, two, three. Do I keep on buying them if I'm having trouble with them? No, I keep on buying them because I like them. So I keep on buying them. Same thing with the office jet. Same thing with the with the laptop that you'll see in a little while, I guess. Hey, I got this Honeywell thermostat, smart thermostat. I had a smart thermostat from Honeywell 20 years ago. I loved it. It was great. It gave me all kinds of information. It said, how long did my air condition work on Friday? It told me how much it worked on Saturday. It told me how much it, it ran during the week. It told me how much it ran during the month. And at that time, 20 years ago, that was like, wow, this is pretty neat. This is this is great. But now look at it now. It's got a it's got a color, colorful screen. And you could if you don't like blue, you could change the color. Change it to whatever. If you want it to match your your cabinets in the kitchen, you can do that. You can change the color. Find one you like. Some people buy things based on color. They don't, worry, they don't worry about if it works good or not. They just want it to be the right color. You can do that with that. But anyway, this is great. This is a great, this is a great thermostat. Let's see. I think I let me see if I got the thermostat footage here. I made a little, I made a little, I made a, I made a little video. Let's see. I haven't I haven't showed it in a long time. Let's see if I got it. I got it here somewhere. Here it is. Hey, I'm Randall Constant, and this is that Wi-Fi 7-day programmable smart thermostat from Honeywell. I've been, here's, here's my opportunity to go ahead and show you, because I've been talking about it all summer long. Here's the deal, you can just go ahead and, and, and set your temperature right here. Let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and make it go up a little bit, and then just set it, and then hit done. It's set. It's set for 74 degrees, just like that. But you can do it on your phone. So let me see. Let me yeah, so you do it on your phone. I mean, you do it on, if you don't feel like getting out of the chair and, and you're hot, you can go ahead and use the phone. What about if you're sleeping? Doesn't that, does that ever happen to you? Where you're sleeping and you went to, well, you went to bed and it was felt pretty nice. And then all of a sudden the humidity got high and you're sweating. Well, do you feel like getting, do you feel like getting out of bed to go change the thermostat? Because the thermostat's not in your bedroom. It's usually in the somewhere else. What happens if you get up and you go walk and then you go to the refrigerator and then you start eating and then you don't go back to sleep? And you got to go to work at 7 and it's 3.30 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? You go to your phone because I know the phone's within reach. Yeah, the phone's within reach. I know that. You go to the phone, you go ahead and, and click, click the deal and put your thermostat down a couple of degrees, three degrees, and go back to sleep. But if you go to that kitchen, uh-oh, you could be in trouble. You could be in trouble. Yeah, because it's, I don't know about you, after you, if you wake up in the middle of the night and you go to the kitchen, boy, some of that stuff in that in that refrigerator starts to look good. Yeah. And you might not go back to sleep. I'm just saying, I've never done anything like that. No, not me. I've never done that. You know, I'm pretty, I, I go to the refrigerator, I look at the good stuff, and I go right back. No, I don't do that. Nope. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. There better not better not be no chicken tenders in there. <laughs> there better not be any uh there better not be a, a, a cheesecake. What about the ice cream? You ever hit the ice cream at 3 30 in the morning? <laughs> yeah. Bad habits. Hey you don't maybe you should maybe you shouldn't be following me. I I could be I could I could get you in trouble. No doubt. Yeah, so the uh, still here, just cleaning up living room. LOL. Oh my God, that was me last night. That's what I'm talking about. You don't want to. You, you, if you could solve that problem 
with, you know, with your phone and not have to get out of bed. Because like I said, if you get out of bed, your sleep can go away. And you need your sleep because you don't want to fall asleep while you're at work or while you're driving down the freeway. No, you don't want that to happen. All right, I got the thermostat. I got the Lake Crusade. Look, I got the Lake Crusade. This, this pot right here. When I found out how much how expensive it was, I just couldn't believe it. You know, that one's over 500 bucks. That one's over 500 bucks. The one that's in here is 179, and I, I I'll be the first one to tell you that that's expensive. But the people that buy them, they really love them. They love them. Read the reviews. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's got a 4.9. You know how hard it is to get a 4.9? It's almost impossible to get a 4.9. Not with not with 1,362 reviews. It just doesn't happen. Hey, you got the the HP. 17.3 like i was talking about a while ago i bought three of them who maybe i'll get a fourth one no i think that the next one i think i'm I, the next one i get i'm gonna have to soup it up because i got all this video to run i got video to run and pictures to show and and music and all these things being plugged in all over the place i gotta i gotta i gotta kick up i gotta kick up my stuff so it might not be, it might not be a 17.3 next time. I might, it might be a desktop. I might have to get a desktop because if you want some power, I might have to go with the, might have to go with some power. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The thing is, you're. Yeah, the thing is, when you wake up, when you wake up, uh, you say, "Can I make it to the morning?" And then sometimes the best thing to do is get up. Yeah. When you get older, everybody heads to the bathroom. <laughs> it don't wait. <laughs> You're when you got to go, you got to go. You got to go. It's not going to it's not going to wait for you. It's not going to wait till the alarm clock goes off. It's not going to happen. Hey, what happened with this Breville? This Breville's getting expensive, man. This Breville's getting expensive. Let's see if I got it here. Here's the Breville. It was it was 280 just a couple of days ago. Now it's 329. But this one, you can grind your own coffee. If you got coffee beans, you can grind it in the in the coffee machine. The good thing about that is you can't lose the coffee grinder. Yeah, if you got a coffee grinder, you might lose it. <laughs> then you can't do your coffee. But if you keep them together, you won't lose it. Here you go. Here's the problem. It happens every morning. I go ahead and go over to my Breville coffee maker with grind control. And all I got to do is hit the button. That's it. And the coffee's going to be made. And I'll just back away and the rest is going to happen. Yeah, you could go ahead and grind your own coffee if you want to. But we we have it ground already because we're buying uh, community coffee with chicory. And that's yeah, that thing make, that make, it's, it's not the quietest uh, coffee maker, that's for sure. <clears throat> That's a that's a good question. I uh, I'll check Johnny. I'll check I'll check into that. Uh, it's downstairs. Um, the thing that we do. Hey, this is one thing I'll show you. This is the thing that happened to me. What you see? We we're in um, we're in coffee and chicory territory. And for some reason, the the local clubs. The local club store stopped selling it. So I, I was thinking, well, I can't do it out this. My wife's been drinking this coffee for 35 years. So she ain't changing. Nope, I don't care. She ain't changing, so I got to have it. So I went ahead and did a subscription service on Amazon. And I picked it up at $23 when I first got started, $23 a case. I got a 5% discount, got it to $22. I got this bag for $11 a piece. Four or five months ago. Now it's up to fifteen dollars a piece. Well, fourteen or fifteen dollars. But that's what they call inflation. But anyway, the deal is they you could set it like in my case, what I did during the holidays, during November and December, I had it to where I had two 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 pounders shipped to me every every two weeks. And once I built up a little bit of an inventory, I changed it to once a month. So now, now I have it delivered once a month. 
And what they do is they send you an e they send you an email saying we're deliver delivering your coffee on the 17th of you know March or so. And the deal is that if you have a pretty good idea of what you need, so if you need to go run and buy some more coffee before it gets there, then you know when it's coming. But you could also you could also decide, well, <sighs> we're drinking more and more coffee, then let's switch it to every two weeks. You go to two weeks, run run up the inventory up a little bit. Once you get three or four bags in inventory, then you go ahead and cut it back. to You, you can go back and forth all you want. Amazon done mine. But the deal is you get a you get a 5% discount. But if you can find five or six things, I think it's five or six things that you do on subscription, instead of saving 5%, you save 15%. It's something, it's something seriously to check into because it's a good way to knock a few dollars off. Because as you know, a lot of people are making the same amount of money as they made, let's say, last year, let's say. And everything's going up a lot. So there's less. Got to save money some kind of way. That's That might be a good way. Subscription service. Let's see. Oh, my parents, it was Folgers and Maxwell House. Yeah. The, the old people. <laughs> yeah, they're drinking Folgers and Maxwell House. Folgers is in New Orleans. They make it in New Orleans. In fact, when I drove by the plant on I-10, the last time I drove there, which was a few days ago, I smelled the coffee. The coffee was being made, the Folgers. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. You see, I know that. That's made up, made in New Orleans. Now, if you go on over to Jacksonville, Florida, you'll run into Maxwell House. And if you're driving in the right place, you'll smell the coffee over there, too. Let's see, that's like Javadier. Started piling up here and only husband drinks it, LOL. Had to cancel it. Love the soap opera commercials as a kid. Yeah, look, do you know how many people you see in movies today that when they were younger, they were doing commercials for Maxwell House or Folgers? There's a lot of people that have done that. Hey, I got the Weber. I always talk about the grills, right? I always talk about the grills and I still, I still didn't cook my hamburgers yet. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Let's see if the weather cooperates. Let's see if I can find my barbecue pit. Where's my barbecue pit? Here it is. Hey, I got the Weber Genesis all set up. Yep, got it right on here. Got the burner on the right side and you got the big grill here and it's all set to go. Now, let's see, come back here. You got a couple places to put stuff in the underneath and then you got your hose that goes right on over to the source of gas. That's it. You even got a little animal moving around. <laughs> next time, there was no little animal moving around. That was a piece of plastic. But next time I make a video, maybe I'll have the burgers on there. Now, if everything goes right, if everything goes right, maybe I'll have some, well, I won't have this, but possibly. I might have some beef stew in that little burner. <laughs> By the way, that beef stew was good. That was a good beef stew. Oh, I might have some gumbo. The gumbos are cooking. Man, that'd be some. That'd be good. Some hamburgers with some gumbo. Wow, that'd be good. And I could let the. I could let the shrimp. You know, if the weather's good tomorrow, maybe let the shrimp uh, hang out. Hang out and get some sun. By the way, that's a, that sausage is from the sausage is from uh, Alabama. Calvin loves Alabama, you know the Crimson Tide. He loves the Crimson Tides, but he also loves that that sausage. That's some that's some. Uh, let's see, I think we got it right here. That's some Kaneka sausage from Alabama. Yeah, when we're doing, if you live in my neck of the woods, and if you're making red beans and rice, or gumbo or jambalaya, you might be using Kaneka. You might be using some Savoy from Southwest Louisiana. You might be using some Double D from Bugalusa, Louisiana. You might be using some Manda from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Or you might be using some Chassacy from Jefferson, Louisiana. Yeah. By the way, I sold sausage. I sold bacon. I sold, yeah, I sold everything in my day. Yeah, so I know all the... 
I know all the players. All the stuff they go in a go into a bowl of gumbo. I know I, I know all the guys. They go into that gumbo. All right, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead. I'm getting to the close. I'm getting to the end of my. I'm I'm getting to the end of my carousel. Hey Victoria, how's it going? Don't skimp on the carrots. Oh, yeah. I try I try to eat a few carrots every once in a while. I of course I like potatoes better. Beef stew. All I can tell you is that beef stew that you saw right there, man, that thing was good. That thing was good. Yeah, the shrimp. I got a pack of shrimp. Some nice looking shrimp. In fact, I got a picture of the shrimp. Wait, hold on, hold on. I got the shrimp. Wish we're talking shrimp. Let me see. Let me see. I think I I think I got the actual picture. Let's see. I I don't know if it's this one. No, I don't think it's no, it's not this one, I don't think. Well, it might it might be that might be the one. Yeah. So that's how you that's how you get them out of the Gulf of Mexico. You get them with the head. You know there's a lot. You know, back in the day, in my neck of the woods, we bought shrimp with the head on. But a lot of parts of the country, they didn't even know about the head. They always they were always buying shrimp with no heads. But we want we want the heads if we can. We like we like it that way. Yeah, we like it that way. But anyway, make some good gumbo. Yeah, I was gonna say like they say in my neck of the woods. That's some good gumbo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my wife won't my wife won't repeat that because she might start saying that. That's what that's what they say where I'm from. And I said I said it. I said it all my life. That's some good gumbo, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what we said. Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I found that blanket. That blanket I told y'all bought. That yeah, I think it's right here. Man, that's a good blanket. Yeah. <laughs> you see? See, it's already working. It's already working. Yeah. It's got 20 settings, and that, that thing gets hot. Yeah, if you're cold, that thing gets hot. Yeah, if you're out in the rain and you get and you're cold, you, and you and you and you hit the sack early and you want to sleep sleep good, yeah, that'll warm you up. That'll warm you up. I just ran across it, so I so I figured I'd I figured I'd show it since I saw it. Yes, I do. I got real good or I got the best Oreos you could think of. Yeah, all the they got the. Uh, Got the mint flavored ones. Got the regular ones. Got the the white fudge chocolate ones. They're about a hundred calories a piece. A regular Oreo cookie is fifty calories a piece. These are like a hundred, but they're worth it. I would I would go for two of those versus four Oreo regulars. I would. That's me. Hey, I got the Nespresso. The Nespresso came down. It was three nine. It was three twenty nine earlier this year. Now it's at three two eighty nine. The lowest price I ever, ever, ever saw on this was two fifty nine. That happened one time, on oh, one time only. It usually spent most of it, most of its time. It's spent between two seventy four to two ninety four, two seventy four to two ninety four. That's where it used to stay. Last time I used the heated blanket was in the eighties as a kid. Yeah, the the deal is, yeah, my my wife likes to, she loves it, so I can't, you know. If that's what if that's what she likes, that's what we got. That's what, we, yeah. The one thing that the one thing I did run into is when I bought it, things were in short supply. You remember that supply chain issue? You remember that? Yeah. We still have it, but it was really bad then. It kept on selling out. So the day I bought it, I bought it for two forty nine. I bought that. I bought that for two four. I'm sorry. I bought it for uh, one forty nine, and they had seventeen left. And if I had not bought it at one o'clock in the morning, the next morning I got up, it was sold out. We would have been waiting, you know, maybe a week or so, you know, maybe ten days for for that particular blanket. You know, when you get your when you get your mind made up that you want a particular blanket, a lot of times you wait for it, and then you go two or three weeks without having it. Just like I said here, I'm coming back to that Instapot duo, Chris. If you want one. You got to buy it now because that 118 is going to disappear. I know. I've seen it. I've been watching it for 301 days in a row. <laughs> yeah, I got the wall clipper deal here. I've always had wall clippers. I've always had it, you know, for the last 40 years. But this one's rechargeable. And this particular one is 39 bucks, and it works out good. It's got 10,000 reviews. And I don't have it up here right now. 
I don't have it up here right now, but anyway, did Randall freeze on me? I think I'm I think I'm okay. I don't think I froze. I think I'm okay. I don't know if you hear me. Let's see, Victoria said Victoria Diaz says, I don't trust the heated blanket. Did Randall freeze on me? No, I didn't freeze. I didn't freeze. I got my blanket. I didn't freeze. I didn't freeze. I, it might be it might be you. It might be you because I don't have any indication that it's freezing. If I did, I'll let you know. If I see it, it looks like it looks like I got a good signal today, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, I got the iRobot Roomba. I was talking to I was conversing on Amazon Live with Elizabeth from from um, the Countess of Low Carb. I asked her. I said, "How many of those things you got?" <laughs> And I think she said something like 11 or 12 of them. Well, I don't have any. I don't even have one, okay? She got like a dozen of them. So anyway, if you got any pro problems, questions, uh, whatever, you want to know more about the iRobot Roomba, she's the one to talk to. She's the one to talk to because she's got all of them. Then you can go like the David from the French Glow. He's got a bunch of them too. But, but the Countess of Low Carb is the queen of the iRobot Roombas. Yeah, she is. I think I would say that. Hey, by the way, this thing was, uh, this little iRobot Roomba was 179, 179 for, for Cyber Monday, and it was 179 a few weeks ago, so it did go there. Let's see, my little sis sits on top and rides it. You could actually, <laughs> you're talking about a little, little sis, uh, like 15 pounds. How, how much does your little sis weigh? Does she weigh, does she weigh 15 pounds or 20 pounds? Because I, I can't have. I don't know. Something like that, right? Okay. I I don't know. I don't you got me on that. I, and it would have to be on the floor because it probably because if she if she got on top of it on the carpet, it'd probably sink in the carpet, probably wouldn't work. She's two, yeah. Yeah. There's a weight limit. Weight limit on the iRobot Roomba uh rodeo. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. Hey, look, it's got seventy five thousand reviews. That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. Uh, I don't see what the actual score is, but uh, uh, it's up there. Hey, the Westinghouse. This Westinghouse generator was my number one selling item last year in 2021. Yeah, by far, number one. Number two was Duramax. They're both. One was a 12,500 watt, and the other one was 12,000 watts. It's the big unit that you need if you lose, you know, if you go through a hurricane, if you go through an ice storm, or you just live in a city that can't get their their uh, energy straight. Yeah, you might need that. Hey, I got this Seagate expansion hard drive. It's 319. That's the lowest price I got on that one. I've been having it in the carousel for for five months, and that's the lowest price ever, 319. You can look for. You could click it. You could click it and check out Western Digital. You might sign find something a little less expensive. You might be able to. You might be able to find that. Hey, I got this uh, this sofa love seat. It's not the fanciest love seat. You know, it's not the, you know, the greatest uh, piece of furniture known ever or whatever. Hey, and it's not leather, but hey, it's $269. It's not that bad. It was $249 last year, and it went up recently to $259 and then $269. The one thing I can tell you is that it's very stable as far as pricing is concerned. It just stays the course. So as far as I'm concerned, that $20 bucks is kind of like inflation. It, I don't, you know, it could come back down to 249, but I don't see it going. I don't see it jumping up to 349. I don't see it jumping down to 199. It's been pretty consistent. Yeah, it's been pretty consistent. Yeah, Johnny, I was in the food industry for 45 years. I started in 1976, the bicentennial year. That was back in the year when they only had three channels. <laughs> Back in the year when, well, yeah, pretty much three channels: CBS, NBC, ABC, and and uh, PBS. So you had four. That's when they had the bicentennial. If you're old, I don't know if you're old like me, but that's when that's when they came on and talked about. And that's the way it was 200 years ago today. You know, they they had a commercial every day. They had a thing every day. It told you what happened. In the U.S. 200 years ago, yeah, that was in 1976, the bicentennial year. That was a big year. That was a big year, 1976. That's when I started. So here we are. 
46 years later, I'm still talking about, oh, yeah, you definitely, Ed, really, <laughs> VHS, UHS, old school TV, yeah. Yeah, how many people had the, had the uh, antenna where it, where it went like that, where it kept on going around? <clears throat> and then uh, there's a lot of people that don't realize there was a, there was a, there was a time when there was no remote, you know, there were, and then there was a time when the remote used to be attached to the VCR. They had a big long cord that was 25 feet long or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the, so the deal is, so we're, uh, so they call, if you're, if you've been around when there was the VHS, the U, the UHF, and they had those little, they had the, the, the two little things that used to slide under the screw and then you used to screw it in with the antenna. Yeah, you had all that. And then, unfortunately, I remember getting up, getting up in the morning. I'm talking about when I'm six, seven, eight years old, getting up in the morning, the TV wasn't on yet. There was nothing on TV. You had to wait for the TV to wake up. Then when the TV woke up, then they used to give, they used to give, you know, they used to give the news about the war back in that day. How many, you know, how many people got killed? How many people were wounded? That's what kids were. That's what we saw in the morning. That's what we saw when we got up in the six, you know, in the 60s, 70s. That's what we saw. And then later down the road, one day in the 70s, that's when, you know, that's when this thing called the cable came, cable came out. We had a food channel. We had the ESPN, we had the Weather Channel, all the different things, and we thought we were like, "Wow, this is great!" And they got this thing called HBO too, <laughs> and Showtime. What's all that? And yeah, we were excited about that. MTV. And if you were around back then, you know the original five VJs. You know the five. There were three three guys and two women that were the the first video jockeys of MTV. And the first video was the first video on MTV was video killed the radio. And now it looks it's like the internet's killing the TV. Now that's what it looks like. Little by little, little by little. Hey, I got the KitchenAid. I got this. I got I'm lucky enough to have this thing here. This is a workhorse. You can hook up all kinds of different attachments. You can make sausage, you can make boudin, you can grind, you can make your own ground beef. <laughs> You could you can make your own pasta. You can do all kinds of stuff. If you got the if you got the workhorse, you can do that. You got this here. Hey, I put a Levoit in here. The Levoit's ninety nine dollars. It's got fifty three thousand eight hundred thirty seven reviews. There's a lot of people that like to set up, you know, an air purifier in there. Let's say they spend all their time in the living room. They might want to get one there. Maybe they want it in the kitchen. Maybe they want you start in with one room. And then you decide whether you like it or not. And if you like it, then you can buy other ones for other rooms. Yes, there's also no good shows on TV. No. <laughs> yeah. If it, so the last thing we want to hear today is, oh, man, there's nothing good on TV right now. Well, uh, uh, back then, <laughs> there wasn't much anything on TV. And as far as children's, children's programming, you know, back in that day, and y'all could agree or not agree or whatever, but when you're a kid, you look forward to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, um, Charlie Brown, and uh, the Wizard of Oz. And that's about all we had to look forward to. That was it. That was it. And then now they got more stuff that they could see in a day than we saw in the whole year. There's so much awesome stuff for kids to see that we just didn't have. And if we wanted to see it, we had to watch it in the house. We didn't get to watch it in the grocery store or something like that. Hey, I got the DeWalt sliding miter saw. I got the miter saw, but the miter saw that I have is not the sliding one, but it is a miter saw. And we bought it right after Hurricane Katrina, and we've been having it ever since. And it's been, uh, well, this is the easiest job that this saw ever had to do. Here we go. Hey, if you need to go ahead and cut a piece of wood, DeWalt's the way to go. It'll get it. It'll get the job done. Well, that's
that's about as easy as it can be. There's no doubt about that. Hey, look, last summer, uh, I was really surprised. I had no idea that I would go ahead and, and put a, a kayak in my carousel and then find out that it was, this is so hard to believe. I just can't believe it. But two of the best, uh, two of the five best selling items I had last year were kayaks. I didn't see that coming. I didn't know. But I'm ready this year because I'm going to be talking about some kayaks. Definitely going to be talking about kayaks. I'll be ready when people start buying it. If you want to buy it, all I got to tell you is that it was 185 to 189. It was in that 179, 189 ballpark last year for this particular one. This was the best selling one for me. So if you want to buy it, don't wait to the summer because if you wait to the summer, you're going to pay premium price. Oh, I'm just saying, just saying. If you want that single one seater, I saw it at $84. That is a bargain. Eighty-four dollars, because last year I was selling it for the in the one sixties and one seventies. That's eighty. It was eighty-four dollars the other day. I don't know if it is today. Hey, I got this purple leaf twelve by twenty gazebo. Oh man, I'd love to have that in my backyard. That would be great to have. I'd love, I'd love to have it. So I'll put it in there because I sold a few gazebos last year. I sold a few. It was a surprise. It was a surprise. I didn't expect it, but I did. I sold a few. But that's a nice looking gazebo. Click it and look at it on your computer and see how cool it, cool it is because it's cool. Hey, Victoria, Calvin is sleeping. He's talking to his clock. He's got the TV on. He's watching He's watching something called Endeavor. It's like a British, it's like a British um, detective story or something. I don't know. Something, it's something to do with the British. And that's what he, and that's what he's watching. And then he's got his he's got his alarm clock and he talks to Google. So between talking to Google and watching the TV, that's what he's doing now. But he's ready to eat some snacks. He's ready to get something to eat because he's probably going to go to bed around three o'clock. So he's he's about ready to wake up. So I'm ready. I'm about ready to uh, go check that check him out. Um, I think is I think he's I think he's definitely up. I don't hear him yelling for me. Because if he needed to switch the TV or if he needed to roll over or something like that, I would hear him uh, yelling at me right now. Hey, I got to I gotta flip over. <laughs> Whatever. He would be telling me that. Did he see David's stream? Uh, when? Uh, today, yesterday, the day before? He sees it. He sees it pretty often. Oh, my count? My count? My, uh, let me see what it is. Let's see. Um, well, let me let me just say this: uh, the, the Vitamix, uh, I just it was 392, and it just dropped to 368. So it's good if you like green smoothies. I don't, I don't. Uh, but if you if you like a smoothie, this is a beautiful piece of equipment to work uh, to work with. This thing is uh, this blender is powerful. This is not your average blender. Not if you're paying 368 dollars for it. <laughs> it's a good one. All right, let me see where I'm at. Let me see where I'm at. Let me see where I'm at. I'm at I'm at 10:34. I'm at 10:34 on the count. Uh, a while ago, I think when I I think when I started, I was at 1:30. I was at one. I was at one. I'm, I'm sorry, 10:30. So now I'm at 10:34. So I got a few extra. I got a few extra followers. Yeah, a few extra followers. Is is David? David just got done around an hour ago. Oh, okay, okay. I saw that he was on early. He got on before I did, um, so I didn't get to see any. I didn't get. I didn't get to see any of it today. Today. All right, Jace thirteen thirteen. You might have put me at ten thirty. I might even be higher. Let's see if I'm ten thirty five. I'm at ten thirty five. Yeah, there you go. Ten thirty five. Thanks, Jace. Appreciate that. All right. Um, Yeah, so that um, that was it. The last thing in the in the carousel was the uh, was the Vitamix. Oh, it's at three sixty nine. But the deal is, whatever you put it in, uh, you can, you can definitely uh, a three hundred and sixty nine dollar blender is going to do much better than a thirty six dollar blender. There's no question about it. It's all about the quality. The motor the motors on the big side and. Uh, um it's it, it's something nice you know it's something nice to have it's a workhorse it's a workhorse just like that that mixer is right there <laughs> that's another workhorse okay well i'm gonna go ahead and uh i'm gonna go ahead and um check out and uh go check on my son 
and we'll probably we'll probably hit we're probably heading to the probably heading to the kitchen <laughs> probably heading out to the kitchen to see what's there all right johnny thanks so much for stopping in jace thanks so much appreciate it thanks for the follow too victoria uh thanks for uh hanging in there yeah i'm gonna go check on calvin because calvin is definitely uh um calvin is uh definitely ready to to get out of bed and go do something and ed thanks so much hey uh thanks for uh dropping in who else i got who else i got i got i got i got serene serene g serene g she was here most of the time jeffy yeah thanks so much for uh dropping in today i appreciate that and uh i'm gonna go ahead and take care of business so i'm uh i'm out of here i'm going i'll see y'all tomorrow today was uh episode number let's see 500 and 561 i think i think it's 561 episodes and it's uh the hundred let's see what how's that go with the 301st day in a row that i went amazon live so now i'm going amazon now i'm going amazon bye-bye i guess all right y'all take care have a good weekend uh and i will i will see you tomorrow I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right. I'm out of here. I'm just going to go ahead and step through the door as soon as I find it. And I will see you tomorrow. I'm out. I'm out.